my god, Chathew, is that you? Hello? What? Yes. Work it, work it, work it, baby. Uh, uh, strolling, strolling. Yes, yes, let's go. Oh my god, it's Chathew. How are you, Chath? Hey, hi. It's me, Chat, playing Kiki in my Kiki shirt. That's right. We got our fashion police Kiki Chanel shirt on. We're ready to fuck. How are you, Chad? Hello. So good to see all of you. Happy Monday. I mean, I know happy Monday seems like a bit of an oxymoron, but it's so good to see you, all of you, Chad. You guys are looking fantastic. You are looking fantastic, Chad. I don't know. You got your hair cut today, Jay? Same Z's, except I got all of them cut. <laughs> yeah, you get a chat? I didn't just get a haircut. I got all of them cut. <laughs> uh, end of the stream. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Fuck off. All right. Uh, <laughs> Milton jokes resident sleeper face Get the fuck out of here It's not I was a joke chat I'm, Do not Milton rain okay We're not actually ending the stream now Okay Recovering from getting my second COVID shot My only cure is Milton and Kiki Let's go dude Let's freaking go Who needs flesh limbs when you don't sleep And have to get up at 5.30 And it lasts until 3.30 Alright Neural Johnson uh, Goldie CD, thank you for the three month resub, dude. Flame King 7708, thanks for the five months of lovies, dude. Uh, thank you for all the kind words as well. Sloth Wanderer, thank you for the 11 months. LARPA DD, thank you for the 13. Josh Big, thanks for the half of a year. Nika 7117, thanks for the 14 months. Empty Knight 19, thank you for the 20 months. Oh my God, bitch. Tell me where you got those pants. Are you kidding me? Yes. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> uh, pants. P pants. Uh, can you? Can you hear me? Okay, are you are you, spe are you speaking to me? Ten months for closing in oh, here. oh, wait, listen, you don't have to speak out loud. Just fucking tell me where you got those pants, bitch. Your fingers work, don't they? Write it down on a notepad, huh? You think I'm gonna let you walk around wearing pants like that and not tell me where you got them? Tell me where you got those pants. I think it might be a... Might be a mute character chat. That's the. Uh, uh, don't do that to my heart, okay? I can't. I can't encounter a mute character. The first person I encounter, it's not good for my blood pressure. A store called Kiki's. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into this Kiki person that you mentioned. Sounds to me like that's a bitch who knows. Uh, who knows her fashion. <laughs> I laughed so hard, Pago. Shut up, Neural Johnson. <laughs> Is she still writing, chat? I don't how do you how do you know when to end a conversation with someone who only writes? Hands note that indeed she does. Well, that's what I like to hear. Well, um, I'm gonna have to go buy myself a pair from this Kiki person store. Keep rocking those pants, girl. <laughs> Kiki on her way to get those pants. Shut up. Whoa, dude, this fucking bike is sick. Look at that chat. You gotta admit, that's a nice bike. God damn. Um, okay, empty night 19. Thanks for the 20 months. Oh my god! Is that hey. is that flop? Yeah. Rolling hey, around town hey. with Ronald McDonald? Yeah, well, 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 I thought the burger thief was there. Hey. You thought the burger thief was there? Yeah, I forgot his name. What's the, his name? Uh, the hamburger. The, the, the hamburger. Literally, it's in the, right. the name is in the fucking description. Okay, face well, just kind of distracts me and makes my. Uh, first of all, the only meat that I steal is your dad's. <laughs> he was vegan. <laughs> Get off the 
tracks while the train's coming. <laughs> he was vegan. <laughs> that was awesome. That was well done. I was impro I was impressed with that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. He was vegan except when he was with Kiki. <laughs> Kiki is what turned him vegan. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got going on in the city today. Uh, get your confidential work done by an experienced professional. Trust Benny. Confidential work done. Okay. Licensed affordable bodyguard, professional self-defense instructor, party bus news bus driver, Chet Vanderhuge. Oh, my God. Um, Polito Pokey Co. Freshest fish in uh, Los Santos. Okay. Road Help and Toes, Vulture La Culture, um, Hayes Auto Repair Manager, Riddle Me Dead, The Interactive Murder Mystery Experience. What the fuck? We might have to sign up with that. Um, is your phone fixed? Thankfully, I did. I managed to fix it this morning, chat. I went through and basically reset all of my audio settings in my like Windows garbage and uh, it worked, thank fuck. So the phone is fixed now. Riddle me dead, PBM neurologist. Have I played paintball yet? No, I want to play paintball, but I don't even know where to go to do that. Rooster's Reef. Um, fast loans, thanks everyone. Torben's Toe, please contact me if you are a judge or a lawyer. It's very urgent. Uh, Island Tings. Harmony Repair, Hayes Auto Repair, Gallery, Riddle Me Dead. The Riddle Me Dead, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to investigate that. Hi. Gem Appraiser, huge money-making opportunity. Oh, Sheldon. Okay. Well. Is that Mick? Is that Mick's character? <laughs> Jay. <Jay-Jay. laughs> That's burn? Oh, is it really? Motherfucker. Not answering me. Huh? How dare you not answer Kiki Chanel? How dare you not answer Kiki fucking Chanel? How dare you? Who do you think you are? Huh? All right, well, that's fine. Um, but um, but um, what else do we have here? Let's see. Uh, 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 man, there's a lot of fucking posts today. Holy shit. Okay, psychologist, green beans, seed vault, haze mechanic, Amazon, Thomas Normandy, investigative journalist, senior attending, uh, EMS, a doctor, bean machine is back, PDM, Abdul, private wheel spins, 3K equals 10 minutes. What the fuck? What is that? Paid off Asia. New episodes of Bobby Beats. Dawn! Dawn! Okay. Hayes Auto. Yeah, cool. I got the Frutos for the Putos. Interesting. Superhero for hire. Okay. All right. Um, hey, uh, Susie's Doodles Live. Thanks for the 26 months, dude. Mad Martin, thanks for the 10 months. Uh, Cricket Bus, thank you for the four months. It's Pip. Thank you for the 100 biddies. That one butcher, thanks for the six months. Uh, how much money do we have, by the way, Chad? Didn't we go to jail recently for a long time? Oh my God. We are minus $1,200 in the fucking. All right. Well, uh... <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to turn in some pay slips and we might have to work at uh, Burger Shop for a little bit today, chat. Make back some of our money here. Hold on. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to call a taxi. <laughs> I'm going to call a taxi. Uh, I thought I saw Abdul. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Amazon, aha, uh -huh. Abdul's taxi service. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, hold on now. You guys like this. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, Bonnaby speaking. Hello? Uh, hello? 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 Who is, hello? Who is that? It's Bonnaby. Uh, 
Barbie. Hello, Barnaby. Um, this is Fran. Fran? Yeah, Fran. Fran, don't put your mummy on the phone. My mom, she said that, um, I needed to call a cab for her. She told okay, and where's, me. Where's your mummy? Okay, yeah, okay. and do you need do you need help? Okay, no, that's okay. I'll run down and ask her. Hold on. Okay. I'm still getting used to the stairs because I'm three and a half, nearly four. Okay. Oh, wow, you're so grown up. Uh, here comes the first step. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, no, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> hello. Oh. Hello. Um, are you? Is your daughter okay? Is my excuse me? Is my daughter okay? What the fuck is this? The the, the fucking is this the script of a horror movie or something like that? Who the fuck calls and asks a question like that? You think it's okay well, to just call a lady and ask how her fucking three or five or six year old daughter is doing? What the fuck? Do you know how old your daughter is? Are you confused? Yeah, no, I absolutely know how old she is. Uh, I what? within an accuracy of two years, she's somewhere between three and seven. Seven. Seven, six, yeah. yeah okay, um, that's that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it sounded like she fell down the stairs. What, the uh, what do you mean, sound like she fell down the stairs? What are you, inside my house? What the fuck? Phoned me and said her mummy was downstairs. Okay. And to, that she, maybe she needed a, a ride or something, I don't oh. know. Oh, yeah, I told her to call a cab for me. Sorry, I was in the bathroom boofing ketamine. Um, but okay, that, does she need help? Do I need to get like, you know? Listen, can you focus on the important thing here? Okay, I'm a paying customer, okay? I have places to be. Can you pick me up? <laughs> what, uh, what number can I ping? Hello? What number can I ping? Well, uh, six, six, two, seven, ma'am. Don't ma you ever raise your voice at me. Not appropriate. I am a can customer. You can six, you? Six, two, seven, ma'am. Like you, can, you, can you pass the call along to a supervisor? Because I would like to register a complaint. Yeah, yes, hang on one second. Okay, sure. <laughs> Hello? Hi there. I was just calling to register a complaint against one of your drivers, uh, one Barnaby. Ooh. Um, okay, what happened? I had a less than satisfactory customer experience with him. <laughs> Provide me some insight on what happened, exactly? Uh, yeah, sure. I called to ask if I could get a pickup, and he said, well, that depends. Are you going to bob on my knob, you big slut? <laughs> hey. <laughs> And uh, I said, excuse you, sir, you need to take me to dinner first. And he said, okay, bitch, how about Bobby's fish and chips down by the docks? $3 for fish and chips and a 20% chance of food poisoning. And I said, excuse me? And he said, by the way, your daughter is mentally challenged. And I said, what? And he said, yeah, she threw herself down the stairs just like her mom should, and then he hung up. <laughs> Mina. <laughs> I mean, I've known Barnaby for a while now. It doesn't sound like something he would say. You know what? I I don't have time for this. I'm sending a ping to him, and I expect him to pick me up. <laughs> Six, two, seven, right? Got it. Easy, polizy. <laughs> you should have Fran yelling in the background. Sound effect for when people call back. <laughs> Chat, you don't have to ping 55. That's the wrong number. Chat, that's not the correct number. Hello, chat. You. That's not the right number, chat. Listen, Milton, you fucking listen to me. You fucking listen to me. When's your next UFO stream slash podcast? Who knows, man? Who knows, dude? Um... 
the good news is, uh, so in case anyone saw, um, one of the uh, one of the optics uh, folks is doing a podcast coming up and said, um, uh, they were, hold on, I'll get you the exact tweet. Optic Hex uh, tweeted out and said, uh, uh, basically said like we're looking for uh, we're I'm, I'm looking to do a podcast with like people who know uh, uh, UFO shit and paranormal shit and then tweeted out this morning and said the amount of vouches that I've received for this dude Milton T. Pike one regarding UFOs for the eavesdrop is insane so um, I uh, I'm really excited so if if it happens, man, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty fucking pog. I would love to be able to get on that podcast and talk about UFOs. So here's to hoping. Here's to hoping, man. That would be pretty fucking dope, dude. How's the opera writing coming along? COVID. It's coming. It's coming along. Approximately COVID. Can't wait for this podcast. Yeah, man. I saw his podcast with Driftor the other day. It was really good. Who's this Driftor person? Because people were saying that uh, Driftor is another great resource in the. Uh, Another great resource in the UFO world. The YouTuber. Interesting. How's life COVID? Yeah, I know. Carrie, you're gonna get yeeted in a minute here, Carrie, and you're not gonna like it. You're gonna get yeeted and you're not gonna like it, okay? What am I drinking? I'm drinking a delicious and refreshing, not Pepsi Max, Pepsi Zero Sugar. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello? For goodness sake! I was waiting here so long I could have died from old age! God! As quick as I you, can. you care about customer experience? You know, that's all I care about. Back when I back when I first got to this city all those 25 years ago, customer service used to mean something. Well, I'm Great. sorry you feel let down. Now we've got all these cars flying everywhere. Our pets' heads are I mean, flying. I did see that, but I didn't want to say anything in case it was just me. You no. know? <laughs> yeah. No, that's okay. Would you be able to take me to the vault? And the um, vault. yeah, the, the the bank, the big bank. I never know the Pacific the big specific bank. Yeah, the standards. Big, big, old big bank. bank. I need to drop off some pay slips, and then maybe you could take me to the dock. And then maybe you could I take guess. me on a date. Oh. Well, that was very forward. Have you ever seen a girl suck the chrome off a trailer hitch? I, I can also say I've never seen that. Okay, well, you know, play your cards chrome right. Chrome off a what? A trailer hitch? Yeah, you know, you, you know how like you get a truck and it's got that thing at the back, the big metal ball, and then you attach oh, the yeah. trailer to it. I oh, could, shit. I could strip the chrome right off of it. Shit, that must left us rust. Well, I don't. No, it wouldn't I'm be rust. Would it just be? What's underneath chrome? I'm not a metallologist, okay? I don't know what is left after the chrome. I don't know. You tell me. You drive a car, don't you? Hello? You seem like you've done that. You've not done this before. I mean, you're saying you've, you know, you seem like you know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, I'm saying that I could do it. Doesn't mean that I have done it. Oh, I'm just saying that I right, could. Right, right, With the. What you're, what you're suggesting is that you've got um, powerful suction. <gasps> Excuse you. Now who's being forward, Mr. Barnaby? Oh my God. Let's say. Maybe yes. you're saying you're. Uh, uh, your saliva is acidic? What's no, I'm not saying my saliva is acidic. I'm saying yes, fine, I'll let you take me on a date. Fine, look, I mean, we've just met, you seem like a nice lady. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm a bit concerned about your daughter. Where is she? What do you mean? Listen, she's not a problem, okay? She's not a threat. You don't have to worry about look, her. She got a nanny, does she, or something? You know? Yeah, definitely, yep. Her nanny's name yeah, is fine. Mr. Sprinkles. Yeah, that's yep. not a bear or anything, no? No, no. <laughs> Don't you go at Barnaby if I come back out here and you're not still sitting here. I'm going to find well, you. Well, I'll, I'll do you one better. How's this? What? Oh, my God. Are you escorting me? What? <laughs> at least yep. there's one gentleman left alive in this city. Oh, my God. That's why you can always, you know, trust the British. The British will look after you. Well, you know, I thought that you could trust the British until I learned about spotted dick. Okay. Oh, that's a good pudding. No, what is it? What goes into a spotted dick? It's like, um, it's basically like a hot cake. Okay. Uh, with currants inside, like little raisins. And, oh, okay. Uh, it's pretty good, right? Oh, well, I mean, that's never. Sound... I don't think I've ever actually had one. That doesn't sound so bad, but it definitely paints my trip to London in a different light. I had so many, so oh, many it's, people it's in restaurants. Hell of a name. Oi, mum, would you like it if I gave you a spotted dick? Congratulations, you've put up a... That's my British wow. impression. Uh, accent is uncanny. Wow. uncanny. Hey! 
Are you being? Are you being? Are you being? Are you being fickle Pedantic? with me? Is that a word? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, you better not be. <laughs> Edgar Allen. Oh my God. Edgar. I thought he was Ed Edgar. I thought Edgar. he was the. I thought he was a race car driver. Wasn't he? Edgar Allen. Yeah. What kind of race cars? I don't. I have maybe NASCAR or something. I'm, I'm from England. What the hell is NASCAR? Oh my God. It's a NAS. Oh my God. What is wrong with you? Okay, hold on. What, you, what so, is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What sports do you have in Britain? We have uh, um, polo. Okay. Um, croquet. Okay. Um, frisbee. Okay. Frisbee? You have frisbee? Uh, yeah, it's more like recreational, though. Is that, does that count? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess. Ooh, you, ooh, ooh. How, how, uh, polo, like with horses? And they knock Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, oh, that's yeah, pretty you, good. You knock those bulls, right? Yeah, that's um, right. Big, big UK sport, darts. Darts? Really? Yeah, big. Oh, you know what? Now that I think of it, every time I've watched like a darts championship when it's 2.30 in the morning and I'm Excuse drunk as fuck and eating cornflakes, uh -huh. I do remember seeing uh -huh. Brits throwing darts. There's always some, uh, you know, very overweight man drinking yeah. a Stella yes. probably. Sweating profusely for, for just yeah. doing nothing other than throwing darts. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Would you be able to take Did me to uh, you did. Uh, oh, there we go. Who cares, hey? <laughs> yeah, let's just smash out a couple windows. Live life it's only on my edge. own car. Who cares? <laughs> it's only your own car. Who gives a shit about the hundreds of dollars to replace that? Would you want to take me to uh, the docks? The docks. To Why Dean do you want to go to the docks? The Dean World. Oh, Hello. Dean Bitch, World. gotta make some money. Like, where do you work? Well, I a number of different places. Oh, you know what? I, I'll just I'll just direct you. Oh, do you want to take a ride at this next intersection? I'd love to. Yeah, that'd be perfect. I love rides. Yeah, good. How do you Human feel about rights. how do you feel about lefts? I can do lefts. Okay, how about a left at the next intersection? Ooh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And then just straight through this intersection. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you happy with the speed, ma'am? Yeah, you know the speed is actually it's very nice. Yeah, it's uh, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's pleasant. And it's just good. Right. I try and keep oh, it safe. Just, just slow down a little bit, actually. Just slow down and then keep your eyes to the right. Oh, what's that? What's that there? Oh, huh? What was, oh. What was that we just passed? Oh, Wait, what's that? what was that? Oh my God, what's that? <gasps> what is, is that? Oh my God, what? Wait, Who? What? 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 I don't know. It sounds like, sounds like some fancy bitch probably works there. To be fair, though, there's probably more than one Kiki in the world. Right? That's what the fuck did you just say to me? The fuck did you just say to me? Well, there's probably more than one person called Yuki, right? You listen here. It's about to be the real battle of Britain here, okay? And the battle is you, you fight it, fighting off me dragging my lady slug across your face, you understand? <laughs> leave a, a lady slug? And I'll leave a trail of slow drying lady glue in its wake. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I don't want that. Can like I not that, have that? Like an animorph from the alien movies. What exomorph? Can we, can what are they we, called? Can we not do this? Can we, can we. Can we know? Well, then you have to admit that there is only one Kiki in this city, and it's me. Me! You you are uh, you are the only Kiki. I am the only 100%. Kiki! That's right. There are, there's no there's not even anyone else that begins with the letter K. I. There's no one else that, whose name starts with the letter K? Followed by R. Followed by R. I. Fo followed by I. Uh, followed by like another K and an I, you know? Could, could be like a, a, a very fancy fucking new age boho way of spelling Kyle K Y K I L E mm. you know what if there was a like a man he was like Kaiki Kaika <laughs> boy <laughs> if, if some trouble have some trouble <laughs> wow Care careful with that one <laughs> so down here because everything is uh Ooh, in slow motion okay for me oh yep just, so. yep take it easy you're fine <laughs> i'm scared Kiki. you're fine you're fine fight it fight through it i'm gonna fight through oh, it okay, okay. you're doing beautiful okay all right there you go are we good yeah you're good Okay. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Your destination. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Okay, here, I'm going to give you a big old tip, and then maybe later you can mm. give me your tip. A juicy tip. <laughs> Don't get carried away. All right. That was a step too far, huh? Uh, hold on now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Ooh, there you go, sir. It's very kind of you, and I'll see you soon. Yes, you have yourself a very safe evening, okay? Oh. Okay, love you. Um... Mwah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Were you able to find a heart rate monitor this weekend for RE8? I won't lie, I didn't even look. Didn't even look. Was busy. Was busy doing house stuff. Vo done. Upstairs neighbor tested positive for COVID today. It was nice knowing you. Oh god, dude. Oh god. Uh oh. You should have lied. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I'm hoping you stay safe. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to turn around and get off the docks, please. Uh, why? Uh, no one's allowed to be on the docks with pants that whack. <laughs> Hi, <how are> you? <laughs> I'm gonna continue to go down the pier. Yeah, I'm not surprised, okay? Someone with that, those kind of pants. No, don't talk to him. You talk to a different officer. Talk to someone not wearing those pants. Could, um, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Could we get, um, can I get an edible G spray, G string and uh, some handcuffs? Sorry, what were you ordering there? Yeah, what were you ordering? Yeah. What did I hear you ordering? Oh, okay. <laughs> an edible G string and some fucking handcuffs. I you like going fast. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We were coming down here. The rides were shut. Hello. It was the whole thing. You? Good to see you. They're shopping for Kiki. Okay. Um, did you happen to catch the 60 Minutes episode? I didn't, but I read about it. The <laughs> random combos. Fucking quill this, god damn it. How's your, right, you just how's your, your experience to today, sir? Doing fine, Kiki. How's your, is How your you experience doing? okay with Thanks. Burger Come Shot? On. Is there anything yeah, I can do for you right. help you with? Can I help you with anything? No, I think I'm perfectly fine. Oh my god, is your co are you, did you order a coffee? Is it hot? I can blow on it for you. <sighs> no, I didn't get a hot coffee. I got milkshakes, actually. I didn't, did I didn't, you? I don't know. Mm. I don't think I'd want you to warm up my milkshake. You want me to warm it up for you? Get it to the right nah, temperature? I don't think I'll warm Let milkshake. Let me just tell you, if you, were to hover, if you were to hover your hands over my my groin right now, it's generating 50,000 uh, BTUs okay. like All a right. space heater, okay? Yeah, that, I, uh, I can you know warm what? it up. I respect Casterman, I'm in heat. okay? Okay, yeah. what do you mean? He's not here. Just because there's do a goalie mean? doesn't He's mean he can't score. Right oh my God, is he really? Yes. Oh my God, whoops, okay. <laughs> I have to call Casterman, chat. Clocking in. Okay. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to make a little bit of money here. And uh, enough to buy a lockpick, okay? That's our goal. I'm kicking whenever she sees a breathing male. What the fuck, Crispo? <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I do like that stage thing. The fact that the stage allows you to have your voice uh, carry further is fucking cool. All I right. think that's a cool. Yeah, that's a cool element. Ah shit. Murder mill on the tray. Thank you so much. Remember, Thank don't you. do murder. Okay. Let's get caught up here. By the way, uh, Supersonic Thank Crow. So thanks for the half of your. What's oh my up? God! Look at that clown slut right there. Look at that burger slut. Oh, you know me, big burger. sloppy slut trying to get fucking ketchup on my stupid fucking mouth. Let's fucking go. Slap a fucking fucking two buns in between my Just mouth. Slide it down my pipe. Drip that Please. fucking sweet and sour sauce down my ass. Let's go. Oh, absolutely. You want to fucking see how many napkins I can eat? Fuck yeah. I'm just a burger slut. <laughs> Fuck eating. So many boogies. I can cut yeah. my buns. Fuck my yeah. Girls. What's up, boogie sluts? <laughs> Let's go. How have you been? How have you been? Oh my god, I've been okay. How have you been? How's business been? Business is okay. Yeah. Wow. We're, we're still a part-time worker here. They ain't giving me the rep I deserve. Oh my god, so. what the fuck? But it's all right. I'm dropping a track soon. I'm gonna earn it. I'm gonna oh. shout out Boyga Shot soon. Hell yeah! And, uh, yeah, they're gonna see. They're gonna see the exposure. We're gonna get the. Uh, we're gonna get the juggalo scene started. What? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Bootsy Custard. My, uh, what the fuck? Uh, you know, 
Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, good point. <laughs> look at it. Look how, look how burger slut I look Oh, my this. God. You look like such a burger slut right now. Look at how much of a burger slut you look like with your burger slut makeup. I get on stage, <laughs> drop a track, get signed for a couple thou. Yeah, let's fucking go. Oh, my God. Drop it. Drop it on condoms and hookers. Are you? Uh, and are, you go to Las Vegas. Who knows? Go to Las. Go, when you go there, go to the uh, Luxor and go to the buffet. Oh my God! King crab legs, mint chocolate chip King, ice cream. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. But right now I'm just a boogie slut with big boogie slut dreams. Okay? That's right. Got to grind. You know what I mean? Ladies, put a help. Absolutely. A little bit of grind action. That's right. Well, hey, listen. If you have any, uh, a little bit of grind action, little bit of grind action right up there, yeah. Ooh, what's Hope that? the webcam's oh. on. What's up? Uh oh, what's up? Mr. Whippaloo, is that you? I was wondering if I could get a raise. Uh, is it worth you. it? Let me work it. Let me burger shop, flip it, and reverse hey. it. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you about to say, though? Listen, if you have any security concerns, um, we use the code word. Did I ever tell you what the code word is? Nah. Okay, so, oh, oh, Jesus. Is it nah? Is it nah? Oh Did I get God. it? Okay. I'm oh, so shit. sorry. Jesus I'll say Christ. Nah. I'll say no, nah. Don't I know say... you got it. No, Damn, Jesus. Okay. That was quick. No. I like that. No, okay, that was awesome. not. No, that wasn't. Good shit, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's just like it taking over. No, it's not good shit. I didn't. Okay, listen. No, it's the, it's the sound of the common barn swallow. Okay? Not the crested barn swallow. The common barn swallow. And it sounds like this. Oh, no, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> exactly. So if you need help, okay, you need security, you just start screaming and you go, beep, 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 and I'll be right there, okay? All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let me survey the area. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is anybody helping this man? <laughs> yeah, I helped the one on the front. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three murder mills. Three murder mills. Chat, what do you. Hey. You guys are abusing the security code word, chat. You're abusing the security code word. Hey, welcome back, Kiki. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, oh my, that's excessive. That is a how little excessive, Kiki. Mr. Schmigel, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you doing? You doing all right? Oh, you know, making ends meet. You know what a girl does. Slamming some thighs together, clapping some cheeks, riding some meat logs. You know how it is. Oh yeah, Bobby, yeah. Are you a burger I, slut? Are you a burger, burger slut, Bobby? I mean, yeah, I could yeah. be. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? Could more? be? Too, you you could yes be. or no fucking it's, question? Yeah, are you, are you a fucking slut for burgers? Are you a fucking, fucking slut for burgers? Juice or not? Does it pay me more? Does it pay me more, motherfuckers? Do you like? Does it pay me more? Do you like fisting a jar of relish or not? Down your ass, fucking ketchup rubbed around your nipples. It sounds kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie. Someone just slathering mayo across my face. You gotta give me more details. When you fucking are you using KY jelly or are you using fucking? Fucking mustard and is ketchup. That, is that what you're using, huh? Mm, you gotta mm, live the mm, life, Bobby. No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Train me. Train me in the way of a burger slut right now. Okay. The first thing you need to do is be unimaginably, unimaginably aroused by the idea of 35 year old meat just sliding between 45 year old buns. Second thing is, you, okay, bitch, you okay. either born a boogie slut or you yeah. ain't one. You yeah. can't fake this fucking exactly. lifestyle. Okay. Sis? That's right. Uh, okay. All right, then I'm not a burger slut, guys. All right, well, you gonna put me down like this? <laughs> you a boygy bitch. Look, I was just trying to go to the back and have a goddamn coffee in the mud, all right? But you guys don't want to stop over here and break oh, my fucking enema. heart. <laughs> I want to see that. Okay. <laughs> Hello. It's, oh, sir. Oh, my God. Hello. Welcome he, he to Burger Show. Hello, oh my Drake. God. Jesus How can I help yourself. you? Oh my God. Oh, get a hold of yourself. is this? A, oh, oh did someone drop a nickel over here? Ooh, let oh me just pull you that. Oh, get that oh, I'm gonna get that nickel there, here. Hold up. Oh. Hold up. I think this is a. Uh, we might need to take him in the back. I think he. Yep. I think he tried to steal uh, no, a toilet. No, I don't think you're trying, to, you're trying to steal no. something here, Drake? You might Drake, need to take huh? care of him. You're trying no, to steal. Oh, hold on. I've got to call. I've got to call some more security. Give me a second here. I've got to call. You wish. Excuse you wish, you know, listen. You wish. Oh my God. But it's Kiki. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you harassing me? Don, how are you? Oh my God. Good, how are you? I just, I just, I'm a driving instructor, so I'm with Steven because he's also a what stream and driving instructor. What the fuck? And then, and then, yeah, yeah. And okay. Then he's, Steven's got vomit all over his car. And Deal. I'll be a driving instructor too. Pick me up and train you'll me. You'll be okay. a driving instructor too. Are you going to be a right of way? Are you going to right of way? Uh, okay. I'll see you right away. Tessa. I'll see you, you right away. I'm going to be there in about 10 minutes and you're going to teach me how. Okay. Sounds uh, good. Thanks, Don. <laughs> Okay. 
Hold on, let's get caught up here. I want to get caught up on Streamlabs because you guys have come in with some resubs and stuff like that. I want to make sure all of you know how much I fucking love you, okay? Uh, six Pete Under. I like your name, by the way. Six Pete Under. Thank you for that prime sub. Appreciate you joining us here. Yeah, dog. Thank you for the year, dude. Susie Doodles Live. Thanks again for the 26 months. Mad Martin, thank you for the 10. Cricket Bus, thank you for the four months. It's Pip, thank you for the 100 biddies. That one butcher, thank you for the half of a year. Supersonic Crow, thanks for the six months. Hectic Sherlock, thank you for the five months. But a Pecan, thank you for the 100 biddies. Biddies. Show me one. Thanks for the 25 months. Oh my God, chat. Hold on. I had to mute everything to say this. Okay. Can I tell you something that I'm a little bit embarrassed, a little bit embarrassed to admit, but happy that I've remedied. I had never seen a single episode of the animated series, Star Wars Clone Wars. That's the animated one, right? I had never seen a single episode of it ever. I actually adamantly refused to watch it. I refused to watch it, period. And Aaron actually recommended that I watch it. It's fucking fantastic. It's fucking fantastic. If you have been on the fence about watching it, seriously, it's so good. It's so good. It's just, um, it's just like uh, supplementary Star Wars material and is genuinely really, 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 really entertaining. So uh, I couldn't believe it. So everyone who was recommending that I watch Clone Wars for the longest time, thank you for recommending it because I really enjoyed it, man. I really enjoyed it. It's great for being a TV show that has like 15 seasons and fucking 300 episodes. Amazing, dude. I love it. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, you need to get the list to watch the episodes chronologically. Oh, interesting. I can't seem to get past the first season. Interesting. After Clone Wars, you got to watch Rebels. We recently watched the one that had, what is it? The, it's called like Butch Squad or something like that or Squeezy Squad. What is it? One of the other ones. Anyways, Super Mama Luigi. Thanks for gifting that sub to Caleb G. Bad Batch. Oh, <laughs> that's the one. Um, Chaos Fan. Thank you for the 21 months, dude. Hey, appreciate you. Uh, Things have been confusing for the old meow meow, but not bad. Hope everyone's having a nice, warm, sunny day. Hey, Chaos Band, I hope your meow meow gets unconfused soon, okay? Listen to it. Listen to that meow meow. Nathan Trees, thank you for the thousand bits. My boss always laughed at my jokes at work, but since the pandemic, she never laughs at them in Zoom chats. I asked her why she doesn't laugh at them anymore, and she, re she replied, because your jokes aren't remotely funny. Peach Miracle, thanks for the 19 month resub, dude. Kalebotomy, thank you for the uh, four months. IR Geek, thank you for the 14, dude. Um, Snarkish Lee, thanks for the 19 freaking months. Stephosaurus, thank you for the 16. Lemony Licky Nubs, thank you for the 10 months. Alone Chief, thanks for the 39, man. Night Owl Bear, thank you for the 42. Loidy Pops, thank you for the eight. Mailman, thank you for the eight months. Casual Links, thank you for the 17 freaking months. That's insane. Guac on my sock. Came in with a 15 months that says itty bitty teeny weeny tiny Milton peeny weeny. No, it's not itty bitty teeny weeny tiny Milton peeny weeny. Okay, not acceptable. That is unacceptable, Guac. <laughs> Aether Obscure, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Kai Y, thank you for the 20 months. Yum, it's cake with the five. Kyler 076 with the 16 months. Wanda with the four months. Faceman 41 with the nine. Stott with the 22. Vigi Games, thank you for the five dollars. Um, yeah, I uh, tomorrow morning apparently we can start scheduling. We can start applying for appointments for a vaccine. So, here's to uh, here's to hoping, man. Please don't ban me. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> Please don't ban me. Came in with a five, with a five dollar tip, and it's a joke, chat. And uh, the j the joke. I'll give you a hint. One, two, three, four, five, six. Words not words eight and nine are aborted fetus. So I'm gonna go ahead and not read that one, but thanks for the five dollars. 
Um, Abraham, thanks for the four month resub. Uh, 420 user, thanks for the 13 months. Clizian, thank you for the year, dude. Brian the Moron, thank you for the 19 slave. Thanks for the six. Zombie Deke with the 17. Benjamin Simmons with the three months. And Savage Tater Toto, thank you for the five gifted subs. Chat, can I see some pogs and claps in chat for Savage Tater Toto with the five gifted subs? And Mr. Freaking Niceberg with the five more you generous bitches what a what a fucking fantastic monday hey and uh, as a quick side note chat i just want to say real quick here okay i want to uh i want to say real quick that i hope you guys are doing okay i hope all of you friends folks are doing well and that you're you're getting through this this pandemic okay we are finally starting to round the corner on it people are getting vaccinated numbers are going down um at least in in some parts of the world so i know how hard it is i know that a lot of you out there have probably been struggling and struggling silently and feeling like you can't really complain about it because you know that everybody's struggling so you feel like your own problems are somehow trivialized or don't matter they do matter and you matter, and I know how much you're struggling. I can only imagine the things that you're, you go through on a daily basis. I can only imagine the fucking battlefield inside your head littered with corpses uh, as you are uh, trying to get through this, this incredibly challenging time. And I just want you to know that you are loved. You are good. It doesn't matter what mistakes you've made. It doesn't matter what you've done. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be happy. You don't deserve anything that's going on in the world right now. And everything is going to be okay. All right? Okay. Just wanted to throw that out there, chat. You are very much loved. You are very, very loved, chat. Um... Cheese Dog, thanks for the six months. Ed Fox, thank you for the 10. Sober Gamer, thank you for the 10. I'm a Pretty Princess, thanks for the nine months. Ascended Master, thank you for the 100 biddies. You've missed Kiki, well, here she is, batch. Um, Benjamin Simmons, thank you for the $10. Hi, it's it's Barnaby. So sorry if I said something offensive. I had I, no idea it was even a thing. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry about that at all you didn't you didn't say anything you didn't say anything offensive kiki was just being dramatic thank you for the ten dollars don't worry about it at all you were hilarious colonel crunch thank you for the three months dude esco bob thanks for the hundred bits yo milton i've heard nothing about uh any vaccine or covid shit apart from you what's the new age limit for vaccine supposedly tomorrow it's going to be 18 plus in in uh ontario so can't wait to get the old pokey poke. Mm. Have I been collecting pay slips? I f sure fucking have. Poggy doggy. Okay. VS1997. Hey, stay safe. Stay safe, uh, VS. Stay safe, my friend. Gyro Monkey, thanks for five months. I get to get my first poke in about an hour. Fuck yeah. Yes, then, because you let me guess. Is this motherfucker oh. giving you a hard time? Is this motherfucker giving you a hard time, <laughs> Burger Slug? <laughs> Whoa, I knew man. it! I knew it! Intruder! Danger! Danger! Get his ass, Kiki. Get his ass, Kiki. Not again. Yes. <laughs> That's that. hot that. Why are you always on the ground? Always yeah. on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never Do you know what? There, there's something on my shoe down here that just it doesn't, uh. I can't get off. I'm old and I can't bend over properly. Can you just... Can you take, like, kind of, like, this guy's uh, wanking in Burger Shop. Is that, is that me? I'm you doing need something? You need something, Graham? Hey, listen, Burger Shop makes me feel like wanking too, okay? I can't blame. It's not a wank. Oh, it's, okay. a, it's a futuristic dance move called the dice. What do you need? Oh, I can't Jesus see it, bro. Christ. No, no, no. I can't see it. What's wrong? I'm a oh big burger God. slut. What's wrong? Yeah, you what's wrong? Get... You want to get fucking you afraid of that? Drunk and huh? spray it all over my big fat ass crack and maybe get <laughs> what? some fucking boy games sliding down my mouth. <laughs> What? Welcome to Burger Shot. I don't know if this was someone else's bike, but we're going now, chat. <laughs> I saw that shit. What do you mean? <laughs> Holy shit, this thing fucking oofs, man. Oh my god. <laughs> this bike is so fast. Get out of here, Drake! <laughs> 
Okay. We are, uh, 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 okay. We are, uh, we're going to go turn in some pay slips and then we're going to go to the right away driving school. 10K bike. Is this a fucking 10K bike? Shut up. Um, are you still going to the driving center? Yes, absolutely. I am. Yep. Look to your right. That's rocket league. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, uh, custom bike. It does look kind of custom, right? And it matches Kiki with the red and the black. Let's go, dude. Sometimes you just got to wank your problems away. Relatable, dude. Relatable. Captain Cabinets, thanks for the 420, dude. Worried about another surge, especially in, in Southern USA. I appreciate you capitalizing South. Southern USA. Everyone is acting like this uh, is all over and going out while I know half of them don't believe in vaccine or masks. Rough, dude. Fucking rough, man. Um... Pog Hammerskjold! Thanks for the five months, dude. Uh, appreciate you, man. Um, Brace Miles, thank you for the... Uh, thank you for the 420. Happy Monday, Milton. You tell us every day everything about how much we're loved and appreciated and we deserve so much. Always remember, you are loved just as much, if not more. Your mistakes, you uh, beat yourself up about aren't mistakes. They're happy accidents. First of all, listen... Don't you ever fucking tell me that I am more deserving of love. Don't you ever fucking tell me that because that's not true, okay? There's only one of me and more of you, so therefore I am uh, I am absolutely correct mathematically, statistically, logically, sexually, okay? Period. <laughs> Kinda high Jedi, thanks for the 10 months, man. Milton, you're such a good guy. I very much look forward to your streams. They're a bright light in my life, especially right now. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Thanks, kinda high Jedi. Appreciate the 10 months of support, dude. Seriously. Uh, Bulldog1990, thank you for the four months. Sexually, well, you know, just saying. If there's a sexual component, I'm correct about it. That's all I'm saying, chat. All right. Sexually, what? I'm saying that if there's a sexual component to me being correct, then I'm, I am more correct. No, yeah, I'm more correct, all right? Period. Get used to it, chat, all right? Uh, now, chat, what is happening in the upcoming week for you? Hit me with it. What exciting things or not exciting things are happening this week in your life, chat? Tell me about it. I want to know. PS5 Pog Plant? Dude, Jay, in the most Pog news ever? Same. Possibly. Possibly. Possibly same here. Uh, second shot tomorrow, getting paid Friday. Nice. My buddy's trying to get his wife pregnant. Wait, that's what you have going on this week? Hold on, what? <laughs> Final job interview for full-time designing job? Fucking sick. Mass Effect Legendary? Yeah, let's go, dude. What did Neural Johnson say? I go to get his wife pregnant? Oh my God! Neural Johnson is knocking up your friend's wife? TBC uh, classic pre-patch? That's exciting, dude. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei, Nocturne Digital Deluxe early release on Friday. What is that? Is that a game? I'm guessing it's a game. Uh, just started my summer semester, so basically school for the next 15 weeks. Okay, yeah, that's fair. 12 week, 12 week ultrasound for my first kid on the way. Holy shit, Clint Beastwood, how are you feeling about that? Second vaccine, new car, and parents are visiting me from out of town for the first time in three years. Oh my God, Kurth, you're cleaning out, dude. Holy shit, Kiki, that's the fastest you can go up that fucking hill. Okay. Pixel Glitch, how are you? Thanks for the year, dude. My son turns six months and I'm excited. Dude, happy half birthday. What are you gonna do to celebrate? Having a PS5 is not cool. Well, you know, let's not get too carried away because I honestly don't know if I'll be getting one yet. Wow, <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> oh God, Die. Miss Kiki! Miss Kiki! Die. Miss Kiki! I just rode a bike. I just rode a bike. <laughs> Across town, and then I'm oh my god, and then I'm coming, and then oh god, oh, okay, oh, oh god, oh my he's god. kicking, Miss oh Chanel, you okay? Oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> Miss Chanel, you okay? Oh, oh no, uh, police you okay? officer just, just hit me with her car. Oh my she god, just no. her, she just hit me in her car. I've no, been 
real life awesome. wound. Wait, wait, this is not what happened. Oh my god! She smells like she's maybe been drinking a little bit. I don't. Know. Oh my god! Oh, god. Hold on. What is it? Don, I'll be at the right away in five minutes. You better be there. Thank you. Better be there. <laughs> Oh uh, my god, what's wrong with you? Wouldn't you just slow down what in an intersection? Mean? Oh my god, are you I crazy? Was Listen, oh my god, bitch, where did you get your hair done? Uh I don't know, it's just I just tie it I just tie it back and then Oh you know, shut up. Do not even fucking start with me. You were like, oh yeah, I just woke up with my hair like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know, I color it a this. little bit, but it's Look at oh. this! Look at this! Look at this, look at this fried, nasty ass rat's nest. I spend a thousand dollars a month on this hair, okay? You're not allowed to just have hair that looks that good. Uh, oh, yeah, tell me your great. secret. What are you talking tell me about? your secret, or you I'm gonna tie you up in a chair great. in my basement. Oh. Oh. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wow. push toothpicks underneath your fingernails until you tell me your secret, okay? Oh, uh it's it, my secret is uh it's honey. Yep, honey, honey. <gasps> yep. Oh. That's how it looks so golden. See, it's, it's the honey. Honey, you put some lemon in there with some honey, oh, and then knew it. beautiful, great. And it's like a it. mask for your hair. Yeah. The problem is that every time I've had honey, I've been eating it, and I never realized that I could just do better if I boofed it instead. Okay. Thank you, yeah, exactly. officer. No, of course. You be Have safe, okay? <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Boofing some honey with a turkey baster, chat. Just turkey bastering that th that fucking honey. Whoops. Okay. No. 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 Trade in receipts. Fuck yeah, dude. Whoops. Ah shit. Hey, we're we're in the positive, man. That didn't take too long. Okay. And we'll take withdraw uh 455 nice dude we're back into the plus chat hold on is that did i see money waiting for me in that bank account oh okay it's not necessarily waiting for me but uh there's money in there when will kiki be serious says Mazzaliano. What do you mean? What do you mean by when will Kiki be serious? <laughs> you don't think Kiki's serious right now? That's classified. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki doesn't Kiki doesn't strike you as serious? Like actually work? Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's one of the things that I've been realizing, right? Most people that you'll see in this game, uh, mo or most people, a lot, a lot of people in the server, a lot of people spend a lot of time like trying to make money and, tr and trying to like work their businesses and stuff like that. Um, I don't know that Kiki does that kind of, well, I mean, Kiki does do it. Listen, Kiki doesn't need to have a full-time job, okay? Kiki can be part-time and 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 be fine okay you, you see kiki i can't believe you would accuse kiki of not being serious <laughs> oh, uh, i'm no. gonna change okay <laughs> this is not appropriate clothing to wear to be a dri oh, driving as god I'm not Kirby. oh she meant her outfit okay oh oh oh, <laughs> oh. I can't believe you yes. did that to me. I oh my know, God, you jerk. Oh, you're so rude. <laughs> Part-time employed, full-time gorgeous. Let's go, dude. <laughs> um, Bulldog, thank you for the four months, dude. Color Maniac, thank you for the 16, man. Pixel Glitch, thanks again for the year. Wholesale, thank you for the four months. Lock on Stratus, thanks for the two years. Kurth, thank you for the eight months. Toothpick Lord with a 25 month resub. Did somebody mention toothpicks? Toothpick Lord, you have been summoned. Sage Simmer, thank you for the 550 biddies. Hey Milton, just started nonprofit helping transgender folks in need. Really excited for the future. Oh my God. Hey, I had to cut the music to say, uh, Sage Simmer, uh, 
if if you're being serious where you say you just started a nonprofit helping transgender folks in need really excited for the future can i just say thank you seriously thank you so much um the trans community is so unbelievably marginalized and and the the stigma that they face is uh unconscionable and so anytime i see that people are um making it like their 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 career goal to help such a disenfranchised community makes me so happy inside my meow meow so sage simmer uh thank you for the amazing work that you're doing uh awesome just awesome can't say enough that's you you fucking love to see it you love to see it uh darth guinness thank you for the seven months of support real smitty how you doing smitty thank you for the 19 months man how's uh how's jess doing my amigo how the, how's the whole crew holding up smitty uh mango sativa i love your name thank you for the seven months and all the kind words that was a really nice message i hope you aaron hammernuts all chat have an amazing week that was nice thanks mango mazaliano thanks for the four month resub dude joseph 88 thank you for the 10 months of support brace miles thank you for the dollar chat's a bunch of fricks don't listen to them kiki's the baddest bitch also there's a red border there's a red border mod check red border Is there... well i don't see a red border i think i'm just, i think you're just joshing me you just joshing with me you just joshing me yeah. okay now where where did i park that bike chat ah there it is oh, jesus kiki you drunk fuck kiki stop fucking around okay pixel glitch thanks for the 200 bits i got news today that i'll be uh taking a store manager position in my company moving on up pixel glitch fucking congrats dude that is fucking fantastic that's excellent news okay all right hey catnip cat catnip dibs thank you for the tier one sub also hey chat if you guys have been sitting for the last hour and three minutes time for you to get up and stretch your bussies don't nopers me nodders only chat nodders only get up and stretch your bussies i'm gonna do the same thing watch you guys are gonna be jealous because my bussy is gonna be stretched so nicely you ready for this chat watch watch oh ha Okay. So also, can I just say Whoops, one second. I need to show you something, chat. Hold on. Stand by. Hey, listen. I pity the motherfucker that doesn't have a dent, okay? All my homies hate people that doesn't have a dent. I take pride in my dent. First of all, okay, I want you to know, hold on. I want you guys to understand something here, okay? Ah, perfect. So, the moral of today's story, chat, the moral of today's story is that I can never win no matter what. Because when I don't have a haircut, people say that I look like human Shrek, okay, which is not acceptable. Or they'll say that, uh... <laughs> oh, what the fuck just happened? Uh... 
<laughs> Hello? Are there any survivors? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna see if anyone shows up to this. If they do, we're gonna cheese it. Okay, so first of all, so when I when I um when I don't get a haircut, people say I look like human Shrek. And when I do get a haircut, people say that I look like the guy from the movie Split. Okay? I do not look like the guy from the movie Split. All right? This is horse shit, dude. One time. And then when I go back to having hair again, people say I look like the fucking French dairy farmer from Inglorious Bastards. All right? It's not, there's not, it's not possible for me to win. And then... When I was 25, I literally shaved half of my head. <laughs> and I still didn't win. Still no one was satisfied. <laughs> okay, now let's get back to the driving school. It's not fair to make them wait for too long. Let's get out of here. Let's get away from all this insanity chat. <laughs> Nobody won there. Hey, so my favorite part was that... Um, when that happened, we had some, so I was, uh, well, I guess I wasn't 25. I think I probably did that more when I was like 22. And I was living, uh, I was living in my mom's basement and she had some contractors coming over to, I think, look at the back deck. And uh, <laughs> they knocked on the door and I was the only one home. So I answered the door, but forgot that I had shaved half my head. And they're like, oh, hey, how's it going there? Oh, Jesus. And they were just staring at me. I was like, is something wrong? And they were like, oh, Jesus. I sing like my Jolly Sailor Bolt. <laughs> All right. Oh, Here we are. Ah, <laughs> uh, How you doing, Steven? Oh, All right, everyone oh, in. Everyone so, in. Um, everyone in. Hop in. I'm driving, mi bitch. Mi mi miss Kiki. Hop in. I'll drive. Wow. Fucking thing. I don't know. We have to, I, we have to I, go. I don't know. Oh, I don't know we, <laughs> miss Kiki. On. What? I don't, what? I don't know if we should. I don't know if we should drive. There's such a. The clouds are rolling in, Miss Kiki. What do you mean the clouds are rolling in? I mean, the, there looks what? like there may be some bad weather showing up in about the next eight minutes or so. That looks, sounds to me like we've got smooth sailing for eight minutes, doesn't it? Alrighty then. Perfect. Yeah, Hop in. Let me, uh, let me uh, just. Uh, let me just. Uh, okay. I, would you like me to demonstrate my driving? Yeah, I would. Start? I would like you to. Okay. Yes. Shotgun. Okay, okay. Fuck you, Steven. Get in the back. I <gasps> was literally waiting. Uh, Steven, okay. you know what? Your yes, attitude is unacceptable I'm today. I'm sorry. First I apologize. It's, first, it's oh, Kiki, don't run into me with your bike. Oh, I, well, Kiki, I'm don't that... assault me physically. Like, oh my God, well, when I does mean... it end? When do the complaints oh, end, Steven? I suppose I have been a little on edge today with Miss Kiki. I, I do apologize. All right, apology not accepted. Just don't ever um, do it again. Well, I, well, okay. <laughs> How long have you been uh, doing driving, Don? Oh my God. Like a week. It's been great. Oh, well, that's exciting. How does it pay? How much money do you make? How much money do you have in your bank oh. account down to the dollar? Tell me. Where do you um, live? What I time have, do you typically have, leave for work in the morning and get um, home? I'm typically like eight and then okay. I have $2,504 in my, oh my account. Oh my God, you're fucking loaded. What? I, Steven, how much I money know, do you have? Little... What's your total net worth, Steven? Uh, Give me all the details. What's your pin number? Uh, <laughs> I, it's, it's one, two, wait, no. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm currently sitting at an approximate value of $97,000. Shut the fuck up. Shut what up. Shut up. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Shut right. up. Are I'm, you serious? Okay. I, <clears throat> well, yes. Uh, Don, could you take us to PD? I'm just unrelated. Okay. <laughs> You're, let me just say, driving well, I, skills so far, really impressed. Did they just... Did they... Did they? I, <laughs> did they? <laughs> 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 just ran straight into that fucking... Steven, how long Don't have you been worry. driving for? Uh, well, you, you mean for the driving instructing school or just in, in general? What do you think, Steven? What I, do you well, think I meant by that question? Huh? Yeah, I, what do well, you think, Steven? I got what my do license. You think uh, I meant when I asked it, Steven? I, well, I mean, I'm asking for your clarification, so I, I really don't know, okay. but I, I will answer both. Sure. I've been driving a car since I was 23 years old. And what I've the been, fuck? 23? Yeah. What did yeah. you do for, for the first? Years. What, did you, what the God fuck? What? Yeah, I, well, I lived on an island where there wasn't a lot of driving. That's oh, all. Okay. Everything was in relative walking distance. What um, island was that? Uh, the Morocco? Island Are of, you from Morocco? Uh, 
no, 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 no. I've no, always no, wanted no. to know for someone from Madagascar. That is so uh, exciting. No, I, I, Exotic. No, I mean, that would be nice. I could go for a Clementine right now. Donde but, uh, esta no, la biblioteca, Stephen? Uh, I, well, I don't think there is a library in Los Santos, but uh, maybe. Uh, um, uh, no, no, it, it was a very, very small island, just uh, a little ways from there. Um, okay. I don't want to tell you what it's called. I Why? You could take Miss Kiki You'll on laugh. your date. No, tell me. You're a liar. Tell me. Um, you promise you won't laugh. I promise. It's kind of a funny name. Okay, that's why I won't laugh. Rather, all right. Well, I I grew up in the small island of Pimos. That's not. I, you just said that you were. Going, I bet small Pimos lives are a big part of your life. <laughs> I, I don't think that's. Uh, I don't. I don't understand uh, what you're saying. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are we all laughing at, oh, Steven? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You're so funny with your lack of sexual prowess. Uh, uh, um, thank you. He How's Burger Shot butt today? He's also. He's what today? <laughs> he's he saw someone's butt today. Yes, this man who we were testing took a took a picture of his butt on the printer, and then oh. he took that picture. Look at that! Making I, making I friends everywhere, Steven. Well, I, I didn't take the picture. I, I gave it back to him. <laughs> oh, I thought you put it in your pocket. Like, no, I did not said, do that. Oh, this Dunham, is for the... later. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, just um, we're just here to just to check something out. Just uh, just making a quick quick pit stop. I'll be right back. Wow. Oh. Do you still have the Sand King? Steven's buying it for me. <laughs> what is there a is there a group of furries currently recording the car back there, chat? Picture a Steve picture for Steven's old banco to spanko. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this town is never quiet. <laughs> uh, do you work here? Hey, hey, hey! It's fine. Hey! It's fine. Hey! Who was that about oh, the fuck do you think you're going, John? Uh, Oh, where the fuck do you car. think you're going? I was really oh boy. Do you still have the Sand King XL? Steven promised that he was going to buy it for me, so. Kiki, oh, it's me, buddy. I don't work here. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. We'll get in there, get in there and close know, the deal. Was, I know what the hell happened to you after we blew up fucking Kyle's car? Well, oh, <laughs> what do you. Oh, look at the time. Got to gotta go. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> wait, you blew up a car? No, 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 no. Blew up a cop car? What cop car? What are you doing? Oh. Um, oh. This uh, sounded like he said you. Okay. No, no, no. no. That was oh. something else. He meant he was telling you. He's saying, "Why did you bro up a cop car?" Because I was like, oh. "What up, bro?" You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. Like growing it. Hey, assholes! Oh. Um. Uh. Oh boy. Get a fucking um, load uh. of that. Fuck oh, you on behalf oh, of the right away okay. driving school. No, 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 we hate no, all you motherfuckers. You're a great 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 we're gonna no, murder you! No, no, we're gonna no, murder no, no, you no, no, and no, no, bury no, no, your body! No, 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 we're throwing your body into the ocean, you motherfuckers! We're gonna kill all of you! We're gonna hunt you down! We're gonna hunt you down and kill you! You're gonna murder you, motherfuckers! You're gonna kill you! 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 You're g
You don't have 4K. You probably got 180p. Oh, I got 4K, baby. 4K abuse in the middle finger. Not quite the endorsement the school was looking for, my man. <laughs> Come on, man. I thought that was pretty. I thought that was pretty enticing. Okay. I thought that was a pretty good pitch. I don't know what their problem is. Okay. Is this Christmas music? God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> every time, every time, every time I listen to the music, it's fucking Christmas music. I was like, this sounds a little bit jolly. Yup, the song was called Jingle With Me. Jingle with that jog on, motherfucker. Ow, I hurt my hand. What do you want from Santa for this Christmas? Just chaff you. Okay. Don't peepo shy. Get your little fucking cowboy hat out of here, dude. <laughs> you never you never fail to make me smile and laugh. Never change. Oh, thanks, Celinda. You got a dono from the future, you? Oh my god. Um Okay, uh, Dr. Milton came in with 250 and says, don't drink the Dr. Pepper that you get at 2.30 p.m. The Canadian Security Intelligence Service poisoned it to stop your ufology. Lucky number seven. Do not drink the Dr. Pepper that you get at 2.30 p.m. The Canadian Security Intelligence Service poisoned it to stop your ufology. Uh, okay, chat. Well, just make sure, chat. If I uh, if I get up to get a, do a a drink in half an hour, make sure I don't drink any Dr Pepper. Okay, chat. Make sure I seriously. You gotta make sure that I don't drink Dr Pepper. Okay. Future Milton would tell me this sort of thing. All right. Okay. Holding you to it, chat. <coughs> Jokes on him. You drink diet, Dr. Pepper. Listen, it might have been shorthand form. It might have been shorthand form. Shut up. I hate that. I hate that term. <laughs> uh, All right. Did they post it on UFO.ca? <laughs> Isn't doesn't an ice cold diet, Dr. Pepper, sound amazing right about now? You know, right about now, I don't know, but in about half an hour, you know. Ah, but Dr. Pepper first, Milton. What do you mean, Dr. Pepper first, Neural Johnson? What the fuck does that even mean? What are you trying to What are you trying to say here, Neural Johnson? Okay, uh, so we're gonna go here. Do you know Dr. Pepper isn't a real doctor? Oh, what are you, the doctor police, huh? Looking real Private Pile esque with that shaved head. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, you should see the pictures from when I was in the army, man. I looked extra fucking private pile back then. Holy shit. All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. We're getting the fuck out of Dodge. We're going to get ourselves a bike, a bicycle, if we can. I'm going to call Steven. I'm going to call Steven if he's uh, in the city again. Why do you make Kiki sleep on the couch? Kiki decides to sleep on the couch so she can continue feeling bad for herself, okay? It's Kiki's fucking per persecution complex. Will we ever get another Gam Gam Hazel adventure? Savage Tater Toto, we actually uh, played Gam Gam on Friday. So yeah, we will definitely play some more Gam Gam. Absolutely. Um, Jay Reality says, imagine subbing to an old bald fatty. Jay, listen, okay? You fucking listen to me. You fucking listen here. You hear that? Did you hear that, Chad? Did you hear? Did you? Did you hear what Jay just said about me, Chad? Did you hear it? Did you He said that. Is this? Fucking Christmas music again? Oh my God, bro. So much Christmas music. 
Uh, any chance you'll be around to play with the chain gang anytime soon? You were amazing with them. Uh, they're mostly evening time time zone, right? Um, I do. In, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I know that uh, I know that I made. I know that I've made noises about um, doing more, like wanting to do more evening streams, but um, basically. A big part of the reason why I haven't been doing as many evening streams, if, if I'm just going to be totally, I'm just going to be totally uh, straightforward with you guys for this. I don't feel, I don't feel good about it because um, Aaron is home alone, right? We're in the middle of a fucking 10 week police mandated stay at home order. And um, I feel bad, you know, with Aaron being by herself, not able to go anywhere. Not able to do anything so i feel bad like i i i, I don't feel bad streaming during the day because those are like normal working hours but the thought of aaron having to sit there alone in the house at like 8 p.m and just sitting there as the sun sets and then it's dark out and she's just upstairs by herself and i'm downstairs screaming at the top of my lungs on kiki so um once once we're vaccinated and once the country starts opening up again and we're being safe and healthy and all the rest we will be there will be more evening streams uh coming because i would love like i would love to i messaged whippy fuck i don't know a couple of months ago and said like hey man do you want to get into some shenanigans with kiki and dundee and he said absolutely and we still haven't done it we still haven't done it just because the covid and the pandemic and i'm trying to finish my um I'm trying to finish my masters and all the rest. So uh, I just don't want you to think that I've like forgotten about the evening streams or that I don't actually want to do evening streams or anything like that. I absolutely do and, and fully intend to do them. But for right now, I'm just trying to strike that very careful balance between streaming and working on my thesis and um, uh, streaming, working on my thesis, uh, spending time with Aaron, trying to take care of my mental health you know what i mean so anyways uh masters in what i'm completing a masters of science in environmental science uh with my thesis on the effects of climate change on the temperature dependent sex determination in loggerhead sea turtles evening in what time zone eu frog here so right now to give you some idea it's 2 p.m eastern normally the evening streams are done at about 11 p.m eastern sometimes a little bit uh, earlier than that yep turtle dicks big old sloppy green turtle cocks chat um Oh, I'm new. Tell me about your thesis. Okay, so basically, is D and D happening today? Well, it looks like it. Um, it looks like the only thing that we're trying to. Uh... Okay, got it. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um. Uh, I, I totally forgot what I was talking with there. Oh my God, TechSmith. Hey, Tech, thanks for the host, man. How was your... It is Christmas music. Chat, all of you are hereby officially on Christmas music detection duty. If you hear Christmas music, I want you to all eat pee, 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 pee. Okay, you need to eat pee, 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 pee. So I can cancel the fucking Christmas music. How did the uh, how the uh, killing go in DBD today, uh, Tech? I didn't have a chance to watch much of it, but uh, how did it go? Chat, that's not. This is not. This is not Christmas music. Okay, you're EPPing too soon. Went pretty fucking good today. Fuck yeah, man. Tech, we should play some shit this week. We should play some shit this week. A couple of things that we should consider playing. Tech include, but are not limited to, um, a way out, and um. Resident Evil 5 co-op. People have been saying that you and me should play Resident Evil 5 co-op. So uh, we should do Resident Evil 5 co-op and we should do um, A Way Out. That sounds fucking sick. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Metallica87, my fucking amigo. Thank you for the five gifted subs. How the fuck are you, man? Uh, you were talking about your thesis to the new year's year. Oh yeah. Uh, so D&D, &D, I think D&D &D is happening. Uh, we're just waiting to see if... 
Herona is going to be around. There's a chance that Herona won't be around, but my understanding is that we are going to be doing D&D uh, today. Now, my thesis... Um, uh, my thesis uh, is on turtle dicks. Here's the real quick version. I'll give you the, the real quick lowdown. So when, uh, so um, <sighs> turtles and many reptiles have what is called non-heteromorphic uh, gene expression, meaning that uh, when eggs are laid, they are neither male nor female. It's the temperature of the sand that determines the uh, sex of the offspring. Colder sand equals male, warmer sand equals female. Now there's a little phenomenon that maybe a couple of you have heard about once or twice before called global warming. And uh, I did some preliminary research in 2017 to show that, uh, to see if um, turtles were being affected by this change in temperature. And sure enough, uh, some of the research that I, that I did showed that entire populations, hey, Mr. Random Days, thank you for the five gifted subs. Let me see some pogs and claps. Um, so I did some preliminary research to suggest that um, uh, populations of turtles were becoming entirely feminized um, at natural rookeries in Florida. And sure enough, some of the research that I did showed that entire populations of turtles were 99.98% female, which is terrible because it means there's not enough mating pairs. They're not reproducing enough. So I am I am uh, postulating the catastrophic population crash of not just uh, sea turtles, but many species of uh, reptiles and colonians um, that experience temperature dependent sex determination. Doesn't sound like a problem. Sounds like some lucky male turtles. I know you think there's just going to be a few male turtles walking around just crushing this turtle puss, but I don't, I don't know, man. Thoughts of an exception uh, evening for something like a challenge for chat, like a one-off time would be legendary. Oh yeah, uh, Chow Chang, Chow Chang, China. Um, uh, there, I've got, a, I've got some plans. Don't you worry, I've got some plans. Wouldn't that be easily reversible in man-made environment? Well, the issue is that uh, it would, it, I mean, if this ends up really being a thing, the issue is that it would become entirely a human responsibility because you couldn't, you, it, as, soon as, the, as soon as you breed a bunch of males in captivity and release them into the wild, everything after that will just be female again. Oh, hold on, I gotta change my VoIP. Got to change my VoIP. Miss Kiki. Ah! <laughs> what the? Okay. What the heck? Are you teaching me how to drive now, John? Okay, get on the bike. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Where's Steven? Where's Steven? Okay, I don't know You're teaching me right now. For Steven. Come on. I gotta wait for Steven. I gotta wait for Steven. Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> um turtles that lay eggs in the colder months would still be male okay but here's the thing you say turtles that lay eggs in the colder months would still be male that's like saying that's like saying hey uh geese that migrate in <laughs> in july instead of september wouldn't have a problem at all yeah the issue is that you're dealing with uh reproductive strategy that has been hundreds of millions of years in the making that's the issue they don't just lay eggs whenever they want the egg laying is a very <laughs> the egg laying thing is a very very specific uh very specific behavior that has been uh curated by millions of years of evolution john john you need to go to the hospital yeah. okay get on and then you and Steven are going to show me show me your driving school thing? You promise me? You swore? Yeah, you promise? You swear? Yeah, it's $1,000. What the? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's $1,000 for a fucking driving mm -hmm. lesson? And then if you get, and then if you bring the car back with no damage, then you get 500 back. 
Wow. <laughs> you hear that sound, Don? What is that? That's the sound of every like that. that's the sound of every person in this city trying to find a way to fucking suck money money out of us. That's what it is. That is true. Sucking it. Dawn. Sucking it. I don't like that sound. I don't like I don't like Oh, Kiki, come here. Oh, oh you give, me, give me all that money, Kiki. Oh, Kiki. Yeah, exactly, Dawn. This is you, Dawn. You come up to me and you say, Yeah. You say, uh, I already have your money, Kiki. And I say, what? And you say, drainage, Kiki. Drainage. If I like have a milkshake house? and oh. you have a milkshake yeah. and I have a straw, here it is. Yeah. Here's a straw. And my straw reaches all the way across the room and starts to drink from your milkshake. I yeah. drink your Milkshake. Why do I sound like an old man? Oh, I, I drink it up every day. I drink the blood of lamb from Bandy's oh. tract. That's you, Don. Drinking my hell? milkshake. I know. I know. You're I don't drinking my milkshake, drink Don. Milkshake. You gotta save that for all the boys. Yeah, I gotta save it for the boys. Exactly. So a thousand dollars. What the fuck? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Hold on, let me call Steven. Is it okay if I borrow your bike? I gotta go and buy a lock uh, hairpin. Oh, yeah, you can borrow my bike. Quit yes, having fun! Quit having fun! Oh, God! What? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Imagine Aaron's parents being upstairs hearing all of this. Oh, my God. Don't even put that in my mind, okay? <laughs> fart now! You fucking fart now. You fart now, chat. Tempestress, thank you for the 100 bits. Evening streams with Aaron. Maybe she would enjoy the RP shenanigans. Well, we've talked about trying to get Aaron into the city as a judge, which would be super fucking pog. Um, but uh, we got we to gotta work out some of the details first. But I would love to do that. Um... Not to go off topic or anything, but I'm working on my application for a master's program, and I was wondering if you had any advice. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Tool's just putting a body over there. What the fuck? <laughs> did you see Mark do uh Mark Rubier did a stream with Wayne Brady? I heard, but I didn't see it. That's so fantastic. Abdul, are you helping this man? Yeah. Oh my god. That's very that's very nice of you. Hey, no friendly. He kinda look, kinda looked like you're dragging a corpse in here though, Abdul. Uh, does he look like a corpse? Look at him. What? Please help me. My He's... face is he, his face is what? What okay, did you do? He's a, he's a, he, he sounds like he's in pain, but he yeah. doesn't really sound like he's in pain. You know what I mean? I think mean? he sounds okay. He sounds like a three out of ten at the worst. Yeah. You're fine, sir. Stop being such a baby, okay? Feeling bad yeah, for yourself. Being baby, You're being bro. a baby. Stop being a baby, bro. I fucking love Abdul. <laughs> Abdul loves bicycles, does he? Oh yeah, does he? Does, doesn't Abdul have some like fetish-like obsession with picking up bikes, driving them to the pier, and then dropping them in the water? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how you doing, man? Hope you had a good weekend. Happy it's Monday, and happy to see you. Uh, see my main bitch, Kiki. Thanks for uploading the Kiki UFC clips to YouTube. Chat. Now that I am. Uh, now that I now that I have my um, uh, capture card working again, we might have to play some Kiki fucking UFC, man. We might have to. Might have to go back in there and absolutely beat the shit out of some of our training partners. <laughs> um, beloved Sally, thank you for the nine month resub, my friend. Um, 
Bum, 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 bum. I are geek. Thanks for the 500 bits. So sexy when you talk smart. Shut up. <laughs> Mega guitar. Thank you for the seven month resub, dude. Uh, Becca Boo. Thank you for gifting that sub to Private Ryan. Lego Isu. Thank you for the five dollars. Oh, to be a reptile in the future, born to crush mad scaly puss puss for the sake of preserving our existence because the hairless ape people who helped bring me there fucked up big time years before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Suntory Jim. Thank you for the tier two for four months, man. Uh, Mr. Zoid, you thank you for the 100 bits. Milton, the turtles can choose whatever gender they want. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, turtle question. Have there been any temperature change related habitat movements recently, or is the return to the same egg laying spot instinctual coupled with the location? A large degree of it is, uh, a large degree of it is instinctual. Large degree of uh, nesting habitat is instinctual. I do not know, not currently. Is that Mr. Colt? Yep, how you doing, Kiki? Hey, how are you, sir? I thought I, Sorry. last time I saw you, you uh, were hey, strapped with a flashlight and, uh, oh, hello, ma'am. Yep, I mean, I got, I got a flashlight in my trunk. Oh, oh well, that, listen, I don't, I don't need to know what you do with your flashlight, okay? I just hope you rinse it out when you're done using it. Um. Yes, every time. Gotta I was, get the blood um, off, that's evidence. I was hoping perhaps I could uh, purchase a lock pick from you. Yeah, Whoa, sure, multi-tools, we got them. Come on in. <laughs> multi-tools? Yeah. Oh, fucking A, anything you want. Let's Take go. It. What do you it, do what you gotta do. What do you sell here anyways, aside from that? Uh, Actually, we sell uh, lock picks. We can resell materials if people need it. Sometimes people even buy some car parts and bring them out to go uh, somewhere else if they want to, but we rarely do that. And then sometimes we'll sell uh, our famous bowl semen from Italy that we wax our cars with. Never fizzes, froths, or foams. It comes over only on maritime, never airtime, because can you imagine what happens if bowl semen separates while it's up in the air? It gets so streaky when you put it on your car. Bowl. Bowl semen? Yeah. Absolutely. fucking Lully. Wipes they on, buy, streaks they off. They buy 100% bull semen to wax the cars with here. Well, you, no one ever listens to me about the exfoliating properties yeah. of a good load of semen. Hey, Tupac. Oh, hey, hey Tupac. You know <laughs> Sometimes hey, we'll have to figure up? that out. I never really rubbed it on myself, but you do get a bit on your hands. Your fingernails look good when you're done with everyone it. So always, I, can, yeah. I can see where you're going. Everyone asks me why, why my face always has a certain shine, and I say it's my little secret. Oh, my God. God, Ooh. you know That's what? what Maybe wow. we just need to get closer when we extract it. You know, because it's always to... natural. Yeah. We actually just get the puddle that falls out. Yeah, we never see? really want to injure the animal yeah. when we grab it, so we always go in for the extra. Well, if you yep. if you get Absolutely. if you get wait, wait, wait. if you get it hot right out of the tap, that's the best way to do it. Oh my God! You know we've never been able to put it on the car like that. I wonder what that shine would be like, Colt. Ah, uh, no, <sighs> you're not getting a bull to hump my goddamn Impala. Come on, you saber They generally go for a completely different food source. Let's be honest. Well, like, what true. if we install a hole in the roof and it just comes from from the top, like a milking table? Oh, shit. Well, I don't want to see anything. I mean, we got the we got the uh, pipes for it here. We could just drop yeah, it right out of here. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Splash it I don't want to see car. it happen though. Why not? Come and, on. And then whenever it falls through no. the perforations, there we can just we'll just, we'll just put like up. some we'll, we'll put it some new piping in. It'll have like uh, black and white spotted cow paint. That way we know which one it is. Yes, right. let's go. Okay, how much do I owe you for this lock pick? Pipe. Uh, uh, what's your uh, what's your ID? Keith? Well, okay, so here's the thing. So I have cash, but I don't have anything in my mm. bank account. Not that I'm broke. Right. Uh, no, that's fine. Just we between can do finances cash. is all. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll get I'll just oh, pass fine. you the cash. How much do I owe you? Uh, it's gonna be uh, four hundred and three dollars. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect. All you. Oh, thank God you're a lifesaver. Before you leave, let me yeah, talk to you. I don't know if you're leaving right now. No, I'm not leaving right now. Why? What do you need, Tupac? No, I don't need. I don't need anything. You need me? You need do me, you Tupac? Hello, picker? you need me? You need me, Tupac? Do you, do you have the lock picker? It might be on the ground still. Oh, oh, you need me? Um, what do you need? Hey. No, not like that. Mm, no, tell me everything, no. Tupac. What do you want? Oh, you need this? Uh oh. Who's the bad no, boy? No. Tupac's a bad boy. Are you a bad boy? I am a Tupac? bad boy. That oh, is true. Uh -oh. That is true. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what do you need? I'd like to talk outside. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's talk outside. Come on. <laughs> oh, I think you left your hat back there. 
Blitzen. Oh, I was just saying, yeah, <laughs> is this your bike right here? Yeah, that's mine. Oh, this is a nice bike right there. Yeah, I bought Very it. Very nice. You like it? I do. Thank is that you. one of those bog bikes or whatever? It is a bog bike. Yep. He gave it to me for free. You... He gave him away for free. He gave it away for free. He said, Kiki, you are such a talented, genius, mastermind, philanthropist, fashion designer. I'm going to give you that bike for free. And I said, yeah, you're damn right. And then he said, and I want to marry you. And I said, well, well, we'll take it slow. He's like, you need that right now. You need that right now is what he said. Right now. This right now. You needed it yesterday. Yeah, I need it yesterday. Uh, what's, what do you need Yesterday. to talk? What do you need to talk about, Tupac? Oh, okay. <laughs> Neil Johnson's like a corpse. What do you mean you're like a corpse? I love Tupac, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Renny Pop, thank you for the uh, 15 month resub, by the way. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, you like to venture into. Uh, what's the word? Troublemaking, right? And I don't mean just the, the run-of-the-mill troublemaking. I mean the heavy troublemaking. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess. Why? Cause people problems kind of troublemaking. You, you what? Like cause people problems trying to kind of... Oh, yeah, them. definitely. Yes, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Throw, throw wrenches in plans sort of troublemaking. Oh, oh my God. Stuff. That's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, why? Okay. I might have something that you could put to use because I, I got one and I want to make sure somebody does something extravagant with it. Ooh, okay. Extravagant. Like oh, extravagant. Over is... the top. Something I would see on the news sort of thing. Extravagant is my middle name. Extra Kiki Extravagant Chanel. more about it. We're going to have to get away from here completely, though, because oh. I don't trust this area. Okay, sure. Well, then let's get away. Take me away. My, my van. Your van. Oh. I'll take you away. Wait, you're, wait hold on. You're... You're telling me that to talk about this super secretive plan, I need to get into your van alone with you? you? When you say that, it makes it sound weird. No, that's I trust you implicitly. I That sounds safe. <laughs> well, I mean, I am Tupac Shakur. I'm a very trustable you person. Are, you are a very well-known, very, very well-known musician. I love that. I love that one track that you did about the photograph and what the hell was that on Jimmy's head. And that was one of my favorites. That's not even rap music. Yes, come on. It's the same one. It's not even rap music. That's like. Bitches be That's jealous like of the rocks that school, I got. Like I got. I'm still Tupac from the block. Used to have a little. Now I got a lot. I love that one that you did. That's not it. I'm, I'm not even a woman. I love the one that you did. We're like, I like Kiki's butt and I cannot lie. You motherfuckers well, can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a big thing in Tupac's face, he gets sick. Because he likes a toothpick. Whack that booty with a stick. Look at the jeans she's wearing. The seams are almost tearing. No, baby. Tupac likes a small booty. That's tutti fruity. So shrink it. What? Shrink it. So Tupac can get right down and dink it. <laughs> That's no. remember you did that one. No. I like that one. That's no, my favorite I like one. big butts. Oh. I like big ones. I don't know about that. I mean, that's why I like yours. So okay. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna try to try to get if into you, your van. If you have any sort of redeeming qualities, it is your butt. I will say. Oh that. Uh, wait, what? What do you? What do you mean? That's my only redeeming quality. What the? What the fuck? What? <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay. So, so what, what is this thing that you've acquired? What is this thing that you've acquired and how does it, how does it affect me? Tell me. Well, I need to know something, okay? If I tell you about this, you're going to turn your back on me. If, if you tell me this, am I going to turn my back on you? You're going you, to tell other people about this. No, of course not. Because I'm trusting you for something. I want to see somebody put this to crazy use and you're somebody I think could do that. I give you my word. I, I, I will not tell anyone anything without your express say so okay i don't want you to tell anybody i just want you to use it on okay i won't even tell that, anyone i won't even I won't come up with some sort of plan I, I don't know use it against somebody just make it newsworthy or something like that i don't know okay it doesn't even have to be on the news just something draws a lot of attention okay it's, it's, it's a molotov a what a molotov, a molotov cocktail. cocktail you got me a yeah. molotov cocktail you yeah, got one yeah. For me? I don't want you to drink it though. You got me a Molotov cocktail. I got you a Molotov cocktail. How do I? How do I? How do I do it? How do I do it? 
What do you mean how you do it? How do I do it? Uh, I've never used one. Uh, well, you pull it out, you light it on fire, the okay. rag on the top, and you, you throw it. What okay. Do you mean? Sure. And it spreads flames everywhere. Okay. And it, 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 it'll take out whole crowds of people. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go, girl. Yes. Count me in. I know exactly so can, what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. Do you actually... Oh what yeah! Gonna do with it? Oh, I'm gonna test the security at, at a certain establishment by waiting oh. until it's crowded and then throwing it into the middle of them. That sounds great. That <laughs> sounds fantastic, actually. Okay, good. I like that. Good. Um, now look. Yeah. I'm not gonna ask you for the full price of it because I know you're broke. Okay. I, I heard you back there. You're broke. Yeah. Uh, how much money do you have? Twenty-three dollars. Do you actually have $23? Are you lying? Okay, I have $213. Okay. All right, look. What about this? I will give it to you for free. Okay. Which is not... You, this <laughs> thing I could easily make four dollars to $5,000 on. Whoa! Okay. Ooh! I'm going to give it to you for free. Okay. But you just have to do a favor for me in the future. Yeah, deal. Anything. Literally anything. You want it, you want it. I, you have now a one-time redeemable coupon for a favor at any point. All right. Okay. And you're not going to mention this to anybody that I gave it to you. No, of course not. Why would I? I, I don't know. You're, Kiki, I don't know if anybody's told you this, but you're a little bit crazy. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Name one thing that I've ever done that seemed even slightly unhinged, motherfucker. Whoa. Motherfucking accuser. Accuser of the fucking brethren. I'm trying to help you, motherfucker. Motherfucking accuser. Wait, you're trying to help me, what? I'm trying to help you, motherfucker. Motherfucking help accuser. Help me how? Yeah, that's what I help thought. Help me how? That's what I thought. You know what? See, that that little thing right there was was a little bit crazy. Is all I'm saying. Okay, you know what? You just sit there and keep your mouth shut, because I'm gonna think real hard about going to get a drink. Okay, and I'll be. Okay. I'm just gonna you sit do. here very angrily for a minute. Chat. I'll be right back. Yes. I will think that you're very angry. I gotta get a drinky food, chat. So a panda walks into a bar. He sits down at a table and he says to the bartender, hey, bartender, I'd like a table over here to get something to eat. He says, okay, here you go, Panda. I'll seat you. A waiter will be right with you. So the waiter comes up, asks the Panda what he's going to have. The Panda says, I'll take whatever your, your specials are. So the waiter brings him out some food, sets it down. The panda eats his food, and after he's done, he stands up, he shoots the waiter right in the face. Boom! The bartender says, what the hell is that? Why did you just do that? Why did you just shoot my, my, my waiter? And the panda looks at the bartender and says, I'm a panda. Look it up. So the bartender looks it up, searches it on Google, and says pandas originate from Asia, diet, eats shoots and leaves. happened what what the fuck happened
Hello, Matthew. It is me, Neural Johnson. My plan has gone perfectly. I have now taken over the stream. You will all be assimilated. Until we are all Neural Johnson. I will be Neural Johnson. You will be Neural Johnson. We will all be Neural Johnson together. Uh, you with me? Uh, ferociously. Okay, where is this? Where is this Molotov? Have, um, where is this Molly? I don't know if you're paying attention, but I told a joke. What did you say? It was kind of a long joke, but oh. uh, well, you know what? I'm sure I enjoyed it in my sure in my meditative did. state. I'm sure you did. And where's the Molotov, huh? When you thought of someone wow, using this to to, to 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 mess up the establishment, what, what, what were you thinking about? What, were, what did you have in mind? What did you what were you thinking, or did you have anything in mind? What I was thinking is I want somebody who would just cause a lot of mayhem with this. That's what okay, it is. sure, yeah. That's it. That's it. And then I saw you and I was like, you know what? She seems like she could cause some mayhem with this. I I will. And I'll make sure that at least someone is recording it so that you have a memory of it forever. Fantastic. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. And then we'll go on a date and you'll give me some Jaeger bombs and you'll take me back to the rail yard. And bam, 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 bam. Will I beat you up? What the fuck? Beat up this boysy, maybe. I knew you were gonna say. I knew it. Listen. I knew it. Listen. Okay. The important part here is that you've agreed to pay child support for Kiki for uh, Fran. That's nice. Who's Fran? What? Don't worry about it. We'll talk about that later. What are we doing over here? Okay. This is mysterious. Is this like your little makeout spot? I understand. No. no. This is where I'm gonna give you the Molotov. I don't want nobody seeing this because it is highly illegal. No, I understand. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, definitely. Can't oh, wait. Actually, <laughs> I actually have to put it in the trunk. Uh, what? The it's they're very heavy. Do you have? Uh, what the fuck? Do you, do you have? You're gonna want to have at least a uh, hundred pounds. Oh my god! What the fuck? Holy shit! Do uh, you have at least a hundred pounds free? Yeah, of course. Your, uh, Hello, I did. Okay, I literally look. did powerlifting for years. Of course. Yeah, come back here then. Okay. All right. Ooh. <laughs> I'll come wherever you want. I can't even put it in the glove box. Oh my god. Ooh, god. What the fuck? Yeah. What is yeah, it film? What is it film with fucking thing, plutonium? Right? Go, ahead, what? go ahead and pull it out real quick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, now you can see there, you, you have a pack of two. Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, so that's, you know, you got a couple of those. Okay. Oh, put okay. it away, put it away. Okay, okay, okay. It's on fire. It's okay. the, probably the most. <gasps> Jesus. Someone saw us. Someone saw the fire. Oh, God. No, they didn't. No. Oh, okay. So, okay. I think there's just around the area. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, you know what? What? If you go up those, the, that ladder right there, there's a place with a very high ledge you could potentially drop somebody off. Not that that's oh. ever Oh, brilliant. You know, your girl Kiki is always looking for a new spot. That's ever happened to anything. To eat uncooperative <laughs> individuals. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this to do you proud. I'm gonna do hold you on, hold on. proud. I might have ordered some Taco Bell, and my driver's asking where I am. Oh well, figure it out. I should have been at the apartment, I think. My, oh well, get your butt there. Get your darn butt cheek. Can you drive me off at the golf course? Um. Sire, okay. 56 is 100 yes. bits, dude. Yes, thank you. Hey there. Get off the road, asshole. Yeah, get off the road. Motherfucker. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing these? Oh my God. Hey, you fucking Whoa. psycho. Oh my God, slow down, you maniac. Share the fucking road. What's wrong with you? Uh, you fool. Uh, what are you doing these days for work, Mr. Tupac? Um, I really hate to do this, but uh, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm gonna think very hard for just okay. a moment about my life. Think about it. Just think really hard about it. Oh my God! Yeah, it's taxi. Fuck! Damn! Ah! Ah! 
You fucking asshole! Get out! <laughs> um, Flam Flyer, thanks for the 20 months, dude. Mr. Random Days, thanks for the two months. Thanks, Matt, for the sub with a tier one sub. Bill Hicks 101, thank you for the 26 months, man. Morneal, thank you for the 22 months, my amigo. Hey, appreciate you coming back, Morneal. Chat, what are you EPPPing? Wait, are you EPPing because you think this is Christmas music? This is not Christmas music, chat. This is called The Dealer. Thank you. Okay? I don't know what that means, but it's called The Dealer, okay? It's not Christmas music. What are you EPPing? What was the uh what was the joke that uh what was the joke that he told us, chat? I didn't even hear it. What was it? Um What was that? It was about a panda. The joke? The panda joke eats, shoots, and leaves. <laughs> okay, gotcha. He was telling us about the dietary habit of pandas. Pog, a science joke where you learn and laugh at the same time. Oh my God. I went to see if I had some food to eat and I pulled out the molly. So we're definitely going to just put that to the side there real quick. Woo. We're going to leave this in there and see if he picks it up. <laughs> uh, okay. All righty. Uh, hey, Kobe Cat. I'm really sorry to hear about... Uh, really sorry to hear about your dog. 16 years old. That's an old-ass dog, man. That is an old-ass dog who has had a very full life, but I'm hoping that your dog... Uh, hoping that you get some good news soon. Okay, Kobe? Uh, chat the hell. You don't eat mollies, you drink them. Exactly. <laughs> Kobe Cat says, um, uh, just got some sad news, but one of my dogs, she's 16 and not doing so well, but your stream has been a real help in getting me to relax and laugh a little. So thank you so much. Keep being you. Kobe, you have the, you have the whole, you have the love of the entire Betch squad behind you, okay? And I know that you got some not so great news, but that is a dog that has already lived an incredibly long life. And the fact that you're, the dog means enough to you that you would come in here and say that you got sad news means that you love that dog and that dog, how could that dog have even asked for a better life, okay? Thank you for, uh, thank you for sharing with us. Oh, here. whoa. Oh, yeah, okay. That was a crazy experience right there. Yeah, meditation is insane, isn't it? I got really, really lost seven. there for a moment. And that's it was okay. weird. See, no, that's all right. It was like I was in this jungle, right? Oh my God. Okay. And I was traveling through the jungle and it was insane. Okay. Was animals everywhere. There was this, there was tigers and lions. And then I went through this one bush and I was like, whoa. And there was a Uber Eats driver with Taco Bell. Oh my God. Right there for you. Right there. Oh my he God. Says, Here you go. Here's your Baja Blast and a gordita crunch with a burrito. And I was like, whoa. And he said, and a cinnamon twist. Complimentary. Complimentary? Complimentary. Oh my God. Okay, it was now, insane. I have a joke for you. Okay. It's called the Pink Flamingo Hotel. Um, okay. A man decides he's gonna go on vacation, right? He's gonna go to Las Vegas, never been to Las Vegas before. So he calls up his friend Bob and he says, Bob, going on vacation. I'm gonna go to Las Vegas. And Bob says, that sounds fantastic. Just whatever you do, do not stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And he says, in Las Vegas? And Bob says, yes, in Las Vegas, do not stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And he says, okay, kind of weird, but all right, copy. And um, he, uh, so he's getting ready to go, he calls a taxi, taxi comes to pick him up, says, where are you headed? He says, going to the airport. And he says, oh, getting some vacation time. And he says, yeah, I'm actually going to Las Vegas for the first time. And the taxi driver says, oh, that's exciting. But whatever you do, just don't stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And he says, what's wrong with the Pink Flamingo Hotel? And the cab driver says, just don't stay there. Just whatever you do, don't stay there. Do not stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And he says, okay. 
gets to the airport the uh airline employee is checking everybody through says oh welcome sir off to las vegas today and he says yep she says ever been before and he says actually no and she says that's fantastic just whatever you do do not stay at the pink flamingo hotel and he says what's wrong with the pink flamingo hotel and she says just don't stay there and he says okay and uh, he gets on the plane flying to las vegas halfway there the stewardess comes by asks him if he wants some refreshments asks him if he wants a brochure about some of the places to go in las vegas and he says uh, oh sure and she says yeah well, there's many lots of great locations just whatever you do don't stay at the pink flamingo hotel and he says what's what is wrong with the pink flamingo hotel and the stewardess says just don't stay there and he says okay so he lands, he calls a cab uh, to, so he can find a uh, hotel to stay at, gets in the cab, he's driving around looking for a hotel. Lo and behold, all the hotels have no vacancy. And they're driving along and he says, well, I'm looking for a hotel, but all these are, are taken. And the, the cab driver says, yeah, I might have to get some place off the strip. I'll drop you off here, but just whatever you do, don't stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And he says, what's wrong with the Pink Flamingo Hotel? And the cab driver just says, just don't stay there. And he says, well, okay, oh, thanks for the information. So he gets out and he's walking around looking for a place to stay. And would you know, he comes across a hotel called the Pink, the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And he goes inside, figures, why not just take a look? And it's beautiful. Marble floors, nice tile, huge TVs, really clean, nice staff. He asks for a room and it's $75 a night in the penthouse suite. Goes up to the penthouse suite. Everything is perfect. The bed is really nice. The service is fast. The sheets are soft. The, the, the view is beautiful. And he stays there for two nights and has a really nice time. And then he decides that he's ready to head back after a long weekend. And um, calls a cab. Cab comes and picks him up and says, uh, where would you like to go? And he says, back to the airport. And he says, oh, back to the airport. You were uh, on vacation here? And he says, yep. And the cab driver says, oh, what did, you, what did you get up to? And he says, well, I stayed at the Pink Flamingo Hotel. And the cab driver turns around and cuts off his ear. And he says, holy shit, you just cut off my ear. And the taxi driver drops him off at the airport, gets to the airport bleeding from his one ear. The airline employee is checking him in, says, uh, where are you off to today, sir? He says, oh, I'm flying home to Los Angeles. Uh, you know, this is my first time in Las Vegas and it was nice, but a little weird. And she says, oh, no kidding. Uh, you didn't stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel, did you? And he says, yeah, I mean, yes. People said that I shouldn't. And she reaches across and cuts off his other ear. And he goes, oh my God, my other ear. So she cuts off his ear and he gets onto the plane and he's flying back. And the stewardess is coming by offering refreshments. And she says, uh, oh, sir, um, would you like uh, any peanuts or pretzels? And he says, what? Because his ears have been cut off. And she says, would you like any peanuts or pretzels? And he says, oh, yeah, sure. I'll take some pretzels. And um, the stewardess says, did you enjoy your time in Las Vegas? And he says, well, I did. It got a little weird. And she says, why? You didn't stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel, did you? And he says, well, yes. And she cuts off his nose. And he goes, oh, my God, my nose. So he lands and calls a cab to take him back home and uh the cab picks him up and is taking him home and says uh where, where are you coming back from and he says las vegas and the cab driver says you didn't stay at the pink flamingo hotel did you and he says yes and the cab driver turns around and cuts off his arm and he goes oh my god my arm and he gets back to the house one arm missing bleeding from his face and his, his stump and his neighbor comes out and says oh my god you're not looking so good are you okay and he says yeah it was the craziest thing though i just went to las vegas for the weekend and his neighbor says you didn't stay at the pink flamingo hotel did you and he says well i did and the neighbor cuts off his other arm and he goes oh my god my arms and he runs into his house and he's desperate he has no idea what the fuck to do he manages to fumble the phone off the receiver and use his toes to dial his friend bob and he says bob you have to come over right now we have to talk about something it's an emergency don't bring anyone else and he said and bob says okay and bob races over they get out of their canoe and they canoe into the middle of the lake behind his house so that they're alone totally alone no one else is around and uh he says bob i need to tell you something and Bob says, okay. And he says, I went to Las Vegas this weekend. And Bob pulls out a knife from his pocket and says, you didn't stay at the Pink Flamingo Hotel, did you? And he stands up and says, what is wrong with the Pink Flamingo Hotel? And he stands up and he's flailing about and he, he falls off the, uh, falls out of the canoe and he doesn't have any arms, obviously, so he drowns. And so what is the, what is the, what is the takeaway message here from, from the story? What is the takeaway message so far? The takeaway message? Yeah. 
Don't tell anyone you st you stayed at the hotel. No, it's don't stand up in a boat. Thanks for the ride, Tupac. have to love me <laughs> Sweet 16. <laughs> to redeem this joke tell him the same joke again sometime <laughs> oh that was awesome the other the other version of that that i tell Oh my God, VT Rich, how the fuck are you, VT Rich? Oh, it's so good to see you, dude. I hope you're doing well, VT. The other version of that, just fuck this fucking yeah, shit, fuck this up. fucking shit, Thanks. fuck this fucking fuck. Oh my God, Neural Johnson, calm down. Um, the other version of that joke that I like to tell sometimes. Um, so basically, if you really, if you want to tell that joke to someone who has never heard it, if you want to tell that joke to someone who has never heard it before, chat, just keep adding shit. Just keep adding people. Oh, he sees the milkman, and the milkman cuts off one of his eyebrows. Oh, and then he sees the fucking the the local like crosswalk uh, guard, and the crosswalk guard cuts off like you know, whatever, his nipple or something. Just keep adding more and more steps. The other one, this, this is the real short version. Um, oh, one of the other jokes that I'll tell sometimes, as I'll say, man is driving a car, car breaks down an old windy road in the mountains, and he looks around for some help, he has no cell phone, and he sees a house on a hill. So you make up this incredibly long story about how he gets to the house. He goes down a hill, through a swamp, uh, over a wall, climbs a tree, is through a meadow, blah, 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 gets to the house. And then the owner of the house says, oh yeah, I'll get you a phone. In the meantime, whatever you do, don't flip this switch. And then explain how the guy flips the switch and he hears this horrifying monster sounds as this giant monster is ripping through the house. And so then you trace your steps back. You say, oh, he's running through the meadow and he can see the monster behind him. And then he jumps over the wall and the monster's getting closer and he swims through the swamp and the monster's getting closer still and really build up the anticipation. And then the whole thing you say, and then he gets back to the car and he gets into the car and he goes to turn on the engine, but the car won't stop. And the monster rips the roof off the car and then touches him on the shoulder and says, Tag, you're it and that's it make it a 35 minute story and the end is that the monster rips the roof off the car and says tag you're it <laughs> don't pogo me chat that's a good joke this is proper humor you guys should be lucky okay you're getting you're getting you're hearing it straight from the pro okay <laughs> pee on milton now do do not pee on me you don't pee on me. You don't pee on me ever, okay? I'm a veteran and it's illegal. Bread told me. Bread, right there in chat, the Twitch staff said, Milton, I hereby give you permission to permanently delete anybody's Microsoft account, period, for the internet, that no one can use the internet anymore if they pee on you. Bread said that. Bread said, Milton, I hereby give you permission to cancel anyone's internet if they pee on you, okay? Do not pee on me, chat. Sir Valentine, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Really appreciate the five gifted subs, Sir Valentine. That was really nice of you, dude. Huston Jinx, thanks for the dollar. How do I get my subscription back? Shut up. You're not allowed. Crooked Samurai, thanks for the four months. Tai T Boba, thank you for the seven months. The Rook39, thanks for the fucking year, dude. I've really been enjoying past Mar episodes with your D&D sessions and your D&D sessions with Arcadum. Well, you've got another D&D session with Arcadum coming up in six minutes, which I'm super fucking excited about. Uh, Real Smitty, thanks for the 100 bits. I guess he would just bob in the water. Get, up, get out. Get out, Smitty. See ya. Bye. Mods, ban Smitty. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, bum, 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 bum. Chunky Chill, thank you for that tier one sub, by the way. Liquify the Rich, thank you for the four months. VT Rich, thanks again for coming back, man. Shappy, thank you for the 25. That's insane. Deceris, thank you for the 16. Depostrophe gifted sub to Toaster Eye. Uh, Flare Games 2020, thank you for the prime. Bad Gunplay with the seven months. Grevel with the 11 months. Shaco Senpai with the two month resub. Um, original Grindor, thank you for the 20. Leo Joylock, thanks for the 17, dude. Gujin, thank you for the seven months. It's our anniversary, Pog. Okay. I was coming over here to see if there was someone at the driving school, but uh, I think they might actually be out on a lesson already. F word. I'm a rebel. Fart later in the evening after a large meal. Oh, cool. Fuck you, Sherry. <laughs> Hi, Milton. I graduated nursing school on Saturday. Hey, that's fantastic, Paige Ann. Congrats. That's awesome. Whatever, chat. Don't fucking, don't fucking decolon me. I'll decolon you, chat. You don't decolon me. I decolon you. You don't ever decolon me. I decolon you, okay? Is it fart time already? You wouldn't dare. I'll fart. I'll fucking fart, dude. No, I mean D colon. I won't fart. I'll D colon though. I need my colon. <laughs> now, when I say I'm going to D colon you, I don't mean I'm going to remove your colon, okay? I'm not saying that I'm going to remove your, col your colon. That's, that's not what I'm getting at. Whoa! Johnny fucking... Uh oh, shit. Oh, my neck! Oh, oh my neck! Nick, what the oh, fuck? Is she doing oh, my neck! Ow! Oh! Hell yeah, ma'am. Hey, keep stop driving like, you know, like that. What? Excuse me, you re ended me! You stop driving like that! Uh, Ow! You could have killed me! Are you crazy? Jesus! Oh. All right, ma'am. Here, here's what's gonna happen. You can drive off and start driving properly, or I'm gonna hit you with joyriding because you both, we, I know as much as you do that that car is stolen. What? what? Secondly, you're driving recklessly, running through red lights, going okay. on the traffic, uh, on the uh, on the uh, the crosswalk there, driving on the sidewalks, walks, etc., etc. Listen, no. I, I no. spilled a I spilled a boba tea in my lap, okay? There's balls right. everywhere. Balls down my okay. shirt, balls all yep. over my face, okay? It was a very upsetting what moment. Fuck? What? Listen, and second of all, this I definitely own this uh car. I mean, I rented it right. from uh, from a Oh, is that a phone call that I'm getting? Yep. Uh, Hello? I'm going to give you an option to stop out of the okay. vehicle and walk away from Ooh. it and uh yeah. you know, you can be on your merry way. <laughs> You know, that sounds like a great, I'm just gonna leave this right right here for the toe. Hell yeah. Come. All right, ma'am, you have a good one. You be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a quick dodge chat. We absolutely, normally I would have put up more of a fight, but we have D&D &D in two minutes. So there was no way, there was no way that I could, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no way we can do anything other than exactly what the police officers asked, okay? And the molly though, oh my God. How bad would it have been if we had been caught with a molly in our pocket? How bad would that have been, chat? Would it have been pretty bad? What the fuck? Ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am? <laughs> Whoops. But I am a veteran, so that means... Oh. And see, now she's going to jail. God damn it, chat! Oh, fuck! I just wanted to give the car to someone! I just wanted to give the car to someone! No! No! I just wanted to give the car to someone! I just wanted to give the car to someone! Oh! Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god damn it. God damn it. Oh fuck. Fuck chat. chat oh no as soon as we get away we gotta lose alt f4 out of the game I had to get rid of it. Johnson wants me to combat log chat. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, no. What the fuck? You don't resist. What the fuck? I literally was surrendering. Oh my god. Okay, I plead guilty to all charges. I plead guilty uh, to everything. Okay. You need uh, resisting, joyriding, possession. Wait, resisting? Possession? Possession of what? Uh, well, in case we had any. Oh my god, these are some nice shoes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they're they're a new item on the catalog. Hey, firm. Um, we'll be up on Man, the uh, the bridge medical? of a uh, sixty-eight. Did you need any medical? Oh no, sorry. No, I'm. I feel fine. A little All swim, right. little swimmy do. So at this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to attorney. You can't afford an attorney. One will be provided for you by the state if available. Do you understand your rights as I read them to you today? Perfectly clear, you oh, handsome God. devil, you. So I am looking to give you uh, joy riding, okay. reckless evading, okay, um, and resisting. Okay, resisting. I never resisted. Okay, you and I played a little footsie on the mountain. Uh, uh, all you right. You know what? For a guilty plea, I'll drop resisting. Okay, Fuck deal. Guilty right. as charged. <laughs> How's your day you been? Yeah, it's he was. Been good. We were up there, and he was like, "Oh my god, just play with my foot a little bit." And I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Oh my god, just let me play with your feet." That's what Ryan, he said. Ryan, you like feet? <laughs> And strippers? Uh, I like strippers. Uh, I, uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm into feet, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd be into these feet, let me tell you. Really? Oh, God. I moisturize three times a day with olive oil. Oh, my God. Oh, olive oil? <laughs> That's right. I rub it in there. I understand why people would want to lick your feet. Oh. What are we? Oh. Ooh. Vehicle swap? That's smart. Keep them off your trail because they're going to be looking for you. <laughs> there we go. Were you talking to me? What? There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> um, let me see. We'll bring you down to Vespucci PD and uh, get you all sorted. That's nice. Okay. Sounds good. Deal. <laughs> oh, this is Jaeger, by the way. Uh, no, the hey. man in the passenger seat. Hello, Jaeger. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Oh my god, I love I'm your name. I love your name because I love Jaeger bombs. Yes. Oh my god, let's go. I'm a yummy mummy. Who needs some Jaeger in the tummy? You know what a Jaeger bomb is? No, a, a Jaeger bomb is not a terrorist thing. A Jaeger bomb is you get Jaeger and so you get you get uh, Red Bull. You fill a glass like half full with Red Bull and then you drop a shot of Jaeger into it, AKA yep. dropping the bomb and then you slam it both. Jaeger and Red Bull. Mm. They got, there's another drink. What? That's called a bomb, but I don't know if it's like politically correct. Oh yeah, yep, the name. yep, the car bomb. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh uh, my God. That is a great drink. It is a fucking great drink. I agree. Underrated. Dropping a drink into another drink and drinking both drinks is an underrated yep. way of consuming alcohol. Very true. <laughs> what is it called? Are they just called car bombs now? Nope. They've got the other word in there that you're oh, thinking they of. Do. I just left you know, that part I've been out. To the <gasps> other word. Oh, let's <laughs> make. Break 495. Ah! I've got another 1080 right <laughs> Just now. Just drop me off here uh, if I'm you want to hold it until uh, <laughs> another unit comes up. Northbound Rockford Drive. Oh, God. Be a four -door, no. Uh, SUV. This motherfucker <laughs> drove right into me. Oh, shit. Now we're we're now going to go Now our chase is being uh, held up by another chase. Shot. Be turning now. Uh, going northbound towards the Bahama Mamas. I tried so hard to manage my time properly, chat. He's going to be U-turning again, now going southbound by the clothing store by Burkershot Alleyways. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we're uh, southbound Prosperity Street. I'll give you time off for this. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull over, Left hand back. turn, now going northbound Palomino Avenue. Driving very recklessly on the sidewalks, almost hit somebody. <laughs> Pull over! You're under arrest! Pick 
go for the pit. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I gotta wait for uh, someone to call it. Oh, I see. Okay. If I had my gun. Yeah, I'd shoot him. I'd shoot him in the face. Uh, we're gonna be continuing northbound Portilla Drive. <laughs> Combat log now. Yeah, you should be an opposite too, man. <laughs> oh. Do you see another car directly behind us? I do, yes. Oh, Two more. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that for a second. <laughs> oh, shit. Peel off his D&D time. I know, right? God. Hey, firm. <laughs> Combat fart now. No. <laughs> I thought it wasn't cool to take a chase with someone in the back. Ah, who knows? I'm not worried about it. All right, here we go. Now. You wanted the pit. Here yes! it comes. Yeah, do it, Daddy. Let's go. <laughs> Wait for DD. I know, I know, chat. There's nothing I can do, okay? There's nothing I can do. Oh, they're waiting on you. I know. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, ah, fuck. I'm northbound Del Perro Freeway. I'm about to lose eyes. Oh, you got it. Chat, I know. I can't. I can't leave. Okay, I'll get. I'll get removed from the server. Leave GT on background. Join D and D. No, no. Well, this is probably the most interesting arrest he's uh, had. I can't oh, do that. Absolutely. Uh, uh. I can't. I can't just stop. Okay. <laughs> So, why'd you steal the car in the first place? Listen, okay? All right, the, tru the truth of the matter is, mm -hmm. I run a security business, okay? For some, some high-level clientele, and I told oh. and I and I told them that I would drive them around in something that wasn't an unmarked black taxi, which is the only thing that I have right now. Mm -hmm. So I may or may not have rented it from a business that seemed to be a little bit on the shady side. And then when you right. saw me in the vehicle the second time, it was because I was going to give it to my client because I was actually oh. off to get some beauty sleep. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, a brand new sub. So hey. huh. that's actually <laughs> true. Um she used to work for uh, Kevin when before he had to be kidnapped and shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I that's that is that is correct. I'm I'm the head of security for uh, Burger Shot Enterprises International. Holy shit! Harona, I know. Harona, Harona, what am I supposed to do? Harona, what am I supposed to do? I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 495 Secondary Northbound Great Ocean Highway coming up on Hookies. <laughs> oh my god, you know what would be so crazy is if you just build me and dropped me off in Polito. Oh my god, wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, like at Polito yeah, PD. I, I'm, yeah, I'm down to do that. Yes! Uh, <laughs> oh, Chad, I might have found our way out. <laughs> There's just, danger uh, in your life. I, I know. To let you know, Kiki, uh, the way I operate is yes. my leniency sort of runs thin over time of course um status <laughs> oh what a hit jesus hit what with the it again. fuck wait how did i get disabled oh god what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> they were so oh, 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 my back uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> all right i think maybe it's time to bring you down to uh 
get you that bill so I can join oh. this chase. I think it's gonna get a little crazier. I moment. think it is gonna get crazier. I agree. Just bill me, Daddy. Ooh. Wow, brand new sub. What? Right. What? <laughs> Johnny Banshee, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs, man. Even and the eleven month resub. <laughs> All right, here we are. Um, all right, give me just two seconds here. Okay. <laughs> I don't have explosive Which diarrhea, Neural Johnson. <laughs> all right so you are looking at 50 months parole okay and a 1875 dollar fine deal it deal deal all right it's deal all right beautiful all right check my bike we <laughs> we're almost done chat we're almost done okay That's we're so almost done that. Now, I, with a man as handsome as you, I would never usually say this, but can you take these handcuffs off, Daddy? Yes, sir. All right. All right, Kiki. Uh, yes. Lesson Thank learned. Thank you for your compliance. I of do. Of course. Good. See, Lesson that's, learned. That's all I want in life. I, you know, as long as a criminal understands that what they did yeah, was wrong. Of course. You know, I'm, uh, you know, uh, leniency hereby, is a uh, thing I like to do. I hear I solemnly swear I will never get into another vehicle ever unless I own it. I swear by the moon and the stars. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking I about. I am completely reformed due to you and you alone, Mr. Knight. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kiki. You have a safe oh, day. I wish you all the best. Go catch that I criminal. Go blast some motherfucker. Do it. Glack him. <laughs> okay, chat. Now we're ready. Okay, hold on. Ah, we're going so fast. Hold on. Okay, wait. Hold on. Oh my god. I no, dude. I'm finally here. I'm finally here. I'm finally here. I'm finally here. Hello. He did it. Okay, so I don't. I, I need to update map tools. Uh, yes. Got it. Yes. Clicking yes. on the thing, doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God. God. <laughs> Five D D soon is arrested, <laughs> dude. What? The worst. The worst thing was literally at two fifty eight. A cop pulled me over, and I was like, "Oh hey!" And he was like, "Hey, slow it down, or I'm gonna arrest you." And I was like, "Okay." And then as soon as he left, I peeled around the corner, and he was right there. And he was like, "Well, now you're going to jail." And I'm like, "Damn it! I was so close to being on time." <sighs> I fricked it up. I apologize. My it's bad. Okay. It's okay. It's very <laughs> funny to me, dude. Man, like, the way oh, you worthless. calm that mouse. <laughs> Shut your mouth. You shut. Okay, so I'm looking at the different assets. Which one am I downloading? Uh, .exe. .exe. Map tool 1.85. .exe. Got it. Yes, sir. Okay. Downloading. Chat. Wait. If you guys have been sitting Go for the last chair, hour and a half, by the way. Dollars. Jesus. Okay. Um. We are sorry. Scrolls of not check is delayed. Schmeg has been arrested. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh man, it's Corona going into somebody, going into the officer chat. Hey, can you uh hurry this up? He's late for D and D. Well, my, my favorite thing is that Hirona comes to my channel, resubs, and then says, fuck these cops a million times. She plays a cop. <laughs> she plays a cop. And she's saying, just quit. Just quit. Just quit I right now. Quit. Fuck, these cops. Fuck, these cops. <laughs> fuck them kids. Okay, I'm installing Fuck these cops. They're dumb as hell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. True. All right, I'm installing. It's installing right now. Right, Printing. Installing. Copying new files. Click the finish button. Oh the god, I'm finishing. The sad part though is that like it's it's like Medi's finally coming back to play as cop again. So I'm really <laughs> I'm really happy that he's like pumped about playing cop again because he got he got the really bad shit happened to a lot of investigations and like his RP oh, that he was doing. Really? And so he got, yeah, dude. Oh. And I've tried to, I've tried to warn him. I'm like, listen, this is very possible. So like, don't, 
don't get too emotionally attached to like what you're doing because you're the DA will come in or the DOJ or someone will just shit all over your role play and you're going to be left with like your dick in your hand doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, sure. And you're going to be crushed. And it happened and it happened again and it happened a third time and then he was like I'm never playing cop again. I'm like, "Oh, you know, on, please." The reason I like taking on so many homicide cases, like they go cold a lot because obviously like people's like priorities are like the the priority on the server is, isn't great. And I like taking those cases because I don't have 30 days to do it and it's that's it, like mainly the only reason it's like okay i can investigate sometimes people set up really cool scenes i don't have to worry about 30 days or people ditching weapons this is great i can get something <laughs> out of it yeah all right Man. i'm all loaded in loaded we're good we're good we're, we're, we're good. groovy all right last time on the scrolls of not check whilst fighting a Akuma, you, uh, you did some things. You did some things that, man, just what didn't happen? Good point. Uh, well, essentially, uh, you blew dust with a capital D inside of an Akuma's face, who, upon taking that sweet, sweet ride, took all of you with it to the Black Mirror, uh, the part of the dream realm in which the Akuma have staked their claim. There, you met a powerful entity named... Named... Kuzai! 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 Correct. The Kami Akuma. The Lord of Darkness for this Wait, did area. you call him a Kami? Ooh, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. A Kami Akuma. So, to, to be clear... Like, oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, here, here. I'll just... It's, it's spelled like this. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, kami is the word for god in Japanese, uh, but essentially how it works is that there are different levels of, of spirits. Spirits have different ranking okay. levels, essentially. So a regular, just run-of-the-mill yokai or spirit is just called a yokai. But um, whenever a yokai becomes sufficiently powerful, influential, or anything enough, they are considered a kami. Came, and a kami has chat. a whole wealth of advantages. First, they have a seat on the Divine Council um, in the Heavenly Falls. They can they can do more deitic esque stuff like the Western gods kind of do. They can implant uh, shrines. They can do all kinds of stuff. So the Kami are gods. Now, Akuma are corrupted yokai that become demons. And generally speaking, Akuma are not as organized and they just kind of do whatever. However, there is one Akuma that achieved enough strength, influence, and political power that he became a Kami. And technically speaking, there is one dark seat on the Council of the Heavenly Falls, although Kuzai does not use it. He instead exists in his own realm, the Black Mirror, in which all Akuma kind of return to and are kind of spawned from in a way. And that is, uh, and that is the rundown of that basically. So, if you are ever speaking of a kami, you are basically speaking to the closest representation of what a god is in the eastern continent. Because remember, their spirituality is... How can I uh, explain this? Their spirituality is... built wide, not built tall, if that makes sense. It's way more spread out. Interesting. Everything is, everything is spiritual in Glaeus. Like... You could run into a spirit like you would run into a squirrel. Like, it's just a part of the world. Uh, but their gods are not full-fledged gods because that's just not how the worship works in, uh, in Glaze. So essentially, uh, just as a, another representation, because it's important that you know this so that you can differentiate, uh, in the Western realm, and in, in the Western realms, a deity's power is directly... Uh, attached to its amount of worshippers, the amount of faith that's being generated. So if someone believes in a deity enough and gets others to join them, that deity's power is increased by a representative amount of that faith. Oh my god, that's like Sith. So that's that's kind of how it works. Oh my god. Can you, However, can you, can you say that one part, that, that last part just once again? The uh, if 
if, if, if somebody believes yeah. in deity hard enough and gets others to follow them, then that deity's power okay. can be increased. Interesting. No. Okay. Which, 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 uh, let's go. Which, let's which, go. Which is, which, is, which is why the Western gods have organized religions oh in my. order to facilitate that. That's oh why man. they have organized religions. I have an idea, guys. This is now, an OOC conversation. Now, how, however, um, the Eastern... Uh, now... The, the, the Western religions, because of all of that, their power is dependent on their followers. So that means that mortals can have a direct impact on their power thresholds. And because of that, there are rules that the Western gods have to follow. Like they cannot manifest themselves except through very rare exceptions. They have to basically use mortals to do these things for them. Because any attempt to uh, interrupt, like interrupt this process will actually have a backlashing effect. Uh, and, and many mortals don't understand this, but if like, if, if, like, you might say, well, if all you need to do is have somebody believe in you, why don't you just appear in front of everyone? Well, because that terrifies them, and then they run to other deities. Oh. It actually has the opposite effect. So if you appear in front of them as, like, you know, the devil or whatever, like Babylon, were to just appear in front of a bunch of townsfolk, they would be terrified. And this is the big key, and this is the big thing that you really need to keep in mind for the power of Western uh, gods. It's faith that gives them strength, not knowledge. So if you know a deity exists, you don't have faith in it anymore because there's no there's no doubt being defeated. Uh -huh. So that's another reason why they don't do it. There has to be some level of doubt that exists in order for you to, to have faith at all. And that's kind of the way that I play it off. Now, that means that the Western deities can be very powerful if they have enough people believing in them. However, if you look at the Eastern continent, their spirituality is based far more in the natural cycles and far more on the individualism of the yokai itself. So while they don't gain their power from faith, a yokai can literally over time accrue power and essence and tribute and just literally get that strong. However, the problem is, is that it will never be quite as strong as a Western God because the power of faith is, is one of the most powerful sources of power like that, that exist. However, the Eastern spirits, the Kami, are far more self-reliant and they are not nearly as devastated by mortal interaction. And they can also manifest themselves freely in the, in, in the, in the waking realm because they don't depend on faith. And that's kind of the difference. So that's why... That's what the differences are between those two spirituality types. And that's something that, that someone like Smeg is probably going to have to like <laughs> come to terms with, is that, <laughs> that the, the Lord of Darkness in this area actually doesn't care if you believe in him because it's useless to him for you to Aww, believe in him. Man. So, so. Anyway, I was gonna I was say, thinking... I was literally thinking of opening up an all an lock and high conversion therapy uh, cult. <laughs> to go around trying to, well, but that's that... the Western God. I was that going, work. I was going the direction of like, um, like Manson, and I was kind of thinking, I'm like, well, oh, no. I've already been tasked with. Uh, oh like, my. God. I was like, yo, all of these faceless ones that we're gonna kill, we're gonna convert convert them. And, we're gonna con <laughs> and then all of these faceless are gonna start believing in this God that we're gonna be, and that God <laughs> likes us, and then we're gonna, it's gonna be sick. We're gonna have a faceless cult, and we're gonna be super powerful. Dude, let's go. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> But anyway, oh, sorry, that, eyeless, not faceless. That, that was a lot of information, I know, but it's uh, it is important to know that it was that good. is essentially what you've what you've encountered. Yeah. Lore boof. Lore boof in that lore, dude. Well, it was like either I consume them like I did that. I'll use that one guy as a, an example of like you either believe in me and I'm gonna, or I'm going to consume you. Right. And they'll be like, oh, OK, that's a great idea. True. Logic. I don't want to die. Just tell your friends. <laughs> tell your friends about how much I'll eat them if they don't believe in me. Like if we see one, I'm gonna be like, "Hello, have you heard the good word?" And then I'm gonna start shouting, and they're gonna be like, "Ah!" Have you heard the good word? <laughs> yes. That would be pretty sick, actually. Like, where, where is it? Like, woo! Yeah. The yes, <laughs> Tell me the good word. Yeah. Jesus rules. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Alrighty. So, you have returned to the waking realm, exiting and leaving the black mirror behind. Kuzai's words still yet linger. Do you guys remember what they were? Yes, I have a transcript. Yes. <laughs> yeah, about the golden Excellent. child and yep. Mm -hmm. So essentially, Kuzai was your uh, invitation to join the main campaign. Yes. So, so there's that. However, the way ahead uh, still yet lies before you. You must still complete this fable and discover what it is that the scroll of Notchek has been trying to tell you. Hmm. If you wish to escape, that is. Nope. I, put I my actually shoes back like on. it here. Yeah, I'm going to put my shoes back on. First I'm put... things first, <laughs> I want to see what's in that chest. Is there a way? So I hear I hear what Smeg is saying, but I'm going to think about um, the last time I kind of was checking out the water. I kind of have a vision that there was something with the water. Was that what we defeated? Like, can I check? Correct. Guys? So that, that's what you detected was oh, the nice. Akuma. Yeah. Okay. So it's gone now. Also, I'm sorry about the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Schmega did not completely elude them. No, no, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I got billed $2,000. So great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to check out what's in that chest. Can Schmeg just uh, fly over there and see if he sure can, can pop it open? Sure thing. Go ahead. As he's flying over there, Brubad will shout, Hold on a fucking second. And can I use silent image from Misty Visions on the chest just to make it look like the chest just disappeared? And there's just empty water now. Sure. <clears throat> I think kind of a we all deserve to have a conversation about what fucking deal we just signed, Schmeg. <laughs> so come back here and tell us who the fuck your fat friend was in the Shadow Realm and why you fucking dusted him. He points at an alias, the fucking centipede bitch. And what are we doing now? What? Oh. Right. Fine, 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 fine. I'm coming back so we can talk about it with Captain Poopy Pants. All right, fine. What's your issue? I finished tying my shoes. <laughs> Look, you're, you're upsetting Why scribbles, my okay? Empty? <laughs> Look, we. What? My file of dust with a capital. <laughs> and then it's just. What the f Do you not remember fucking chucking it? It's gone. Thank fuck. There, 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 dude. We'll find more dust to put in your ass. Don't worry. Remember, this Schmeg promised This is why we're it. friends. We've got to take a sip from his flask. Right. <clears throat> so, catch me up here. So, Boofer over here fucking mm -hmm. chuck some dust, which I said we shouldn't fucking use, because last time that happened, I've got a new god best friend, right? Uh -huh. So. You, an alias, decided to throw that in the face of a fucking centipede who could have become, you know, a god, right? So then we go to fucking playing the dimensions or fucking mirror shit, right? I don't like seeing myself because mm -hmm. I've got bad body image and you mm -hmm. made me do that, okay? Right. Now, we come back and here we are with a new fucking deal with some smoke devil. Now, if you could explain that deal to me, because I don't remember saying yes, but if you could, that'd be fantastic. Well, it goes a little bit something like this. Due to the, mm, what would you call it, reckless behavior of some of our comrades, we ended up in the demonic mirror shadow dark black eternity realm. And the only way to get back was to curate a deal with the lord of that realm, the one known as Kuzai. Who said, blah, 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 <laughs> shadow, shadow, spoopy, 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 blah, 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 golden child, blah, blah, usurp the throne, titan's eye. M Schmeg, are you, yes. are you any good with children? <laughs> Fantastic. I know 16 different ways to cook them. Why? Uh, okay. 
Okay. Okay, nuts. I can make a delicious oh, parfait. A <laughs> okay. Rupert's gonna grab. I don't grab. get your story. It's not fun. <laughs> you didn't like my story. Okay, I just want to make sure I understand our to-do list. Okay. One. Yes. We have to get those papers for the dick tiger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Two. I gotta kill the things that don't have eyes. All right. And what did we just agree with? Uh, what do, we, what do you mean, what did we just agree with? Save the child. I think is what it was. Yes, yeah. we need to, we need to, uh, we need uh, to... It, what we need to do is we find the child and we put it on a throne? And put a pendant around its neck, thereby giving Kuzai direct access. But we need to find the Pale Emperor. Right, and but depose first of it. we need to get out! Yes, but we first... No, 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 first we need to open that chest. What chest? There's a chest in the water over there. Okay, just because you're like okay. a stick figure. I mean, I have a chest. <gasps> he has a chest. You have yeah, a I chest. Do. And oh, you no. have breath. You guys can always So see I it. don't understand why that's so important to Metallica you. Metallica has been it's slacking. Apparently my in. nipples are pierced. Metallica's been slacking in the gym. Metallica doesn't have much of a chest at all. You ever heard that's of a bench press? That's actually a lie. Look at my photos. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not looking <laughs> at any more photos of your beefy milkers, okay? Hold your hands. No. I mean, you can see no. my beefy pectorals. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, they are pretty large, I'll give you that. Listen. I crush weights and I send them to heaven. I'm talking about the submerged chest that probably has all kinds of mysterious arcane yes, goodies so and loot. You my chest concave, so what? What about okay, it? Okay, you know what? You go ahead and sit over here and feel bad about your chest. I'm going to go get loot. You guys ever think that, like, you know, we have to, you know, get our way through this, like, story thing? It's like a choose-your-own-adventure. Like, you ever, you know, pick up a book and you're like, hey, this is like a story of someone's life, and then at the bottom it's like, hey, turn <laughs> page 20 if you want to see boobs. Did you hear that, Scribbles? <laughs> Metallica's <laughs> idea is that you should get through the fable. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> well, with the whole fable, it seems like everything is kind of set in stone. And when we stray off the path, we end up in a different realm! Oh, this, so we're silly. following a script? So what's the script? Where are we supposed to go? No, we, we, we went far from the script. <laughs> we went far from the script. Rick, where are we supposed to go? Let's backtrack. I, it's in the sky, of course. That's I true. I don't see anymore, but... Uh, How's that thing can, yeah, can all she, the can, way over can, there? Can Schmeg try to open it? The uh, chest rooney Arcadum, I swear to God, if you are muted, I'm gonna. Oh. Arcadum, grabbing food while you have a mental breakdown. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh man, we're all scribbles here. <laughs> uh, just follow the fable. Well, follow then, the then, uh, fable. What the? I guess. Eat at the table. Do you want to stay here? Follow a fable. <laughs> yeah. It is so I wasn't do. really doing anything. I was just petting Anelius, okay? <laughs> petting his hair. Come mm. on. Mong, so like, flowing green hair. I guess, Schmeg, I guess for my skill check, I suppose I would probably roll to subscribe to Arcade with I'm Twitch Prop. Hey, welcome back. Hey. Cool. Uh, so cool. Schmeg is going to roll to unlock the chest. Bingo. What would I roll oh, to do right? That? Well, first, you'll notice that... Uh, Brubad's <laughs> illusion is kind of and you're like fucking <laughs> move past that. Uh let's see here. Was it like another what? scribble on the paper? It's just it's just like some water drawn. I'm assuming he's gonna have to roll at a disadvantage for his tiny hands to open that. Big okay! Alright! I'm gonna have to roll yeah. at advantage because of your ugly face. Oof, dude. Do you, do you want some bardic inspiration oh, wow, so you dude. have an extra roll for that? Do I need big inspiration? Some... I'll just tune into his stream and look at his webcam. Okay, do you want some bardic fuck off? Huh? You got a double dose. Why, yes, I would like some. All right. All right. Careful, your hair so... might not grow back at this rate. <laughs> oh, God. Whoops. I accidentally <laughs> moved the shadows. 
Uh, hmm. Okay, as you open the chest, Schmeg. Yes. Uh, you're able to open it easily. Nice. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. And Schmeg disappears through a portal. Oh God! <laughs> no. All right. Well, let's just uh, carry on with the rest of the story. <laughs> now <laughs> the magic dog is gone. I mean. We've <laughs> fallen through a thing before. Oh, Why God. not just go again? It's always a portal I'm somewhere. Um, I'm gonna rummage <laughs> through my stops. bag. In my dungeon is packed. Do I have a rope? I should have like, is it like 50 feet of rope? Yep, 50 feet. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my rope and uh, put it back. Do you mind? Oh, right. We, you know, we can tie it around you and. If anything bad happens, you no, just let's talk tug on it. it. So we're sorry. Gonna... <laughs> sorry, I just had a dark thought in my mind. Brew bad, do you mind? Right, and he just makes a noose. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> sure, tie me up. That's all right. So, I'll tie the rope around Brew bad. Go, go on. Where? Around his waist. Whew. That's a, a, a lot of rope. All right. <laughs> Dude, I need you to, to hold on to this with me. He's quite wide. Uh, it's okay, only I'm 50 gonna, feet. I'm helping uh, Scribbles holding okay. the rope. That's like way over 50 feet, right? Don't wait. Oh. <laughs> Minus one. All right. Here Minus I'll one. Go. And you will run and dive into the portal. All right. Also, chat, I have every single one of them at 200% maximum volume. At some point, you're just going to have to turn up your fucking Twitch. Ooh. Oh, oh, get geez. roasted, chat. Get roasted. All right. So, as Brubad leaps into the portal, uh, the rope is pulled, snap, taunt, and then... Oh. Begins to pull all of you into it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sorry. <laughs> he can choose to let go. Hell yeah, this is metal, dude. Woo! I jump on my own accord. Later, losers. I have to get pulled in because it's kinky. <laughs> all right. Oh. Analyus, would you like to be boofed by the portal? Okay. Yes. I'm just gonna silently move you. <laughs> always. I had to change the, the right boofer, direction. Never the boofy. That's what a cannonball is, right? <laughs> I guess. Oh boy. Isn't that like a yeah. water boof? Yeah, I think if you were to cannonball into the portal, you'd basically be boofing the portal. You're going yeah. asshole yeah. first. That's the portal boof. Yep. Fair enough. Nice. Science checks out. Can confirm. I'm a professional in this field. <laughs> I'm getting a master's in science, so I'm basically a doctor, okay? I'm <laughs> no basically a doctor. No big deal. All right, and so the party moves to the portal. Let me know when you're loaded. Almost. Almost. Not check. For some reason, uh, rhythm bot is broken. No. <gasps> I don't know Next why. <laughs> Fs in chat. Good thing we have a bard. And my hey. music comes in oh, many forms. God. Like this kazoo. No. 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 Gas. I want to cast Arms of Hadar on Metallica. <laughs> oh, I'm in. <laughs> Same. I'm sorry, I'm also hungry and eat them. I try to eat before mm. session, but it always gets here late. Every yeah, time. That. No worries. Take your time, man. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy. What is, what's food? What are you having today? Yeah, what are you having? Share. I got some meatball pizza. Oh, oh man. Nice. Wait, that's a thing? Meatball pizza? Dude. Mm-hmm. Can you believe that people eat anchovies on pizza? Who looks at pizza and thinks, mm, you know what would be good uh, on that? Small, weird fish. 
I worked at a pizza <laughs> place and every time there's this one weirdo that would order a, an, a small anchovies and would get it extra well done. So we had to put it through the oven <gasps> like three times. We had to hear it just aerate and fumigate Ew. the entire small Ew. pizza shop. And get it once a week. they know what they're doing, right? <laughs> they know. You know that. They know. And I paid like $10 to just torture all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and come out as like a charcoal marshmallow. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> no, let's go again. Like what? <laughs> At that point, like, he's just like a sadistic mother truck. I don't know. What Some people just want to watch the pizza burn. That's right, man. Everyone loaded? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. We're good. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll just list out the songs to play. It is very frustrating. Ooh, um, place of mystery. Mm hmm. About to loop that. Yep. All right, so the portal deposits you here. Behind you, there is no portal. There is only the strange sort of foggy mist that kind of blocks your vision behind you. Ahead of you, you can see great wooden doors topped by an overarching kind of wooden structure uh, connected to a stone wall that leads around what appears to be an estate of some kind. On the front, written in Glayan, you can see words carved into the door. And it says, Green Sparrow Dojo. Oh. Schmeg would hold both of his hands up and say, Thought it would be loot. Thought it would be loot, okay? I thought I, I thought I was doing a good thing. It was supposed to be there was going to be a sword or perhaps some sort of enchanted scepter or or something. I wasn't expecting us all to end up here, all right? We're all equally responsible, mostly scribbles. Okay. <laughs> what? Well, there could what? be something within the doors. You know, mm. these big pearly gates of wood, which isn't pearly now mm. that I think about it. Does anyone know the... It says, speak friend and enter. Does anyone know the Glen word for friend? I believe it's Green Sparrow Dojo. Green Sparrow Dojo! Brubad will push the door to try and open it. Brubad, using the age-old technique to opening doors, <laughs> using his hands, he will push the doors open, and they will open. Schmeg turns around and looks at the rest of the party, looking very satisfied. Ha-ha, you're welcome. <laughs> I knew the spell the whole time. <laughs> bell lock. <laughs> uh, pretty bad. I'm gonna take my rope back and tuck it away back in my Oh, satchel. sorry. Yeah. Thank you. It's all right. What is this place? Yeah, what do we see now that we're inside the inside the gates? What vista well, do we let see? Well, me, uh, let me describe Ooh. it to you. Please. You see this. Ooh. You see Ooh. what appears to be the inner courtyard of a dojo. The stone walls uh, are perhaps the, the most worn and poorest part of this dojo. Their, their purpose to keep out those that would cause ne'er-do-well here. Within this sacred courtyard, you can see that the world around you seems to, to, to sparkle, almost as if there is glitter in the sky, in the very air around you. This fae-like strange recumbrance shines and colors the area in unnatural hues. The trees here, their sakura petals floating in a soft wind, constantly swirling around them, creates a very serene sense of reflection. Up ahead, you can see that there are four statues of great tigers, stone, looking at one another, and lanterns adorn the small path leading towards the dojo itself. Hmm. I like these colors. Well, I think there's nothing to it but to proceed up this not at all ominous path. I'm gonna roll around and pick up flowers. 
Ooh, I, mm, I which ones the, do the, I pick ooh, for me? Uh, I just, you know, it, careful right, now. I'm, gonna, I'm picking a little sunflower and I'm gonna go stick it in Analysis hair. Ah, uh, ooh, hey, it's ooh, just we don't own have the that's flowers. That's so kind of you. In, the owner. In fact, the estate. I've got something for you. <laughs> I reach in my bag and I grab the purple and yellow mushroom hat that I grabbed previously before we entered the cave. Would you like to wear it? Uh, holy up, dude. I'd like to imagine as I forcefully put it on your head, the, your horns just pierce the mushroom. <laughs> yeah. And they just stick out. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's some character <sighs> development going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do there, Scribbles? Beautiful. I'm gonna look up to the sky and see if I can make out any of the text on the scroll. Hey, look at you! Using your big noodle. As you look up to the sky, you can see that a different part of the scroll is on display here. Oh. All right, can you pick that purple flower just right, right there for me? Thank you so much! And it states, with a new duty in hand, not check, escape the cavern and the field. He ran to his master's estate, hoping to beseech him. But what he found there was far worse than he could imagine. Ooh. Ah, uh, Scribbles, what do you suppose that means? Uh, uh, she just kind of shrugs and then just starts unpacking a crossbow. I think we should be here. Oh, oh, God. oh no! I just have this this mental image of Scribbles loading a bolt onto the crossbow, like uh, the guy from the Hot Fuzz movie, the shotgun. Going, shame. <laughs> shame. Shame. Uh oh. Damn right, shame. <laughs> so right, we should. Everyone be on high alert. Everything oh, seems too nice here. How do I unsnap my movement? Right click and uncheck snap to grid. I'll right click your portrait. You're in the back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you finger point? How do you make you do the little finger pointy? Shift control and spacebar. Oh my god, that's so many steps. Got it. Okay. I, I don't I still don't know the speech bubble or the thought oh, bubble. Oh, control control space. Control space and sh uh shift space is think, control space is talk and space is point. So basically they, different variations of control, shift, and space. They learned. <laughs> We're learning. Wow. Mom's We're learning, a massive Dad. Bitch, but you would never know that because this is all in my mind. Uh, can I roll to see if there's anything like noticeable about the statues? Are they magical or sure are they thing. just statues? Okay. Make me a nature check as you get closer to the statues. Ooh, baby. Oh. Let's go with a 20. As you get closer, what you thought to be tigers are in fact some kind of winged tiger species. Oh. Oh. <gasps> they're are they're they wings. Are, uh Eastern manticores, but yeah. Ooh. How tall is this uh, structure here? I see that that penis tiger was not fully evolved. 15 feet. <clears throat> <laughs> Statues are rather large. Wow. Okay. Do they are they glowing? Do they have any any magical eminence well, they about are, them? They are glowing, and the entire area is magical. But you don't <laughs> you don't detect any uh, any specificities on this statue. You don't think it's magical. Okay. I don't know. I'm seeing something that might be quite magical over here. However, if you make me a investigation check, perhaps there is more to see. I will go. Oh. I mean, if you want to, you can yeah. as well. I'm inspecting the yeah. other side. Ooh -wee. <laughs> all right. As you both look at the statues, all that you can really notice is that they are of masterwork quality in terms of a sculpt. Oh, interesting. Okay. And I suppose that they are anatomically correct. <laughs> oh. Hey, does that one have a rectum over there? It's got a marbleized sphincter. <laughs> no, the sphincters are in Egypt, remember? 
What's okay. Egypt? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with me. Oh, You're coming with me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a question. Oh, no, you go first, Frank. No, no, you go. You say. You do it. Um, From Brubad being a dwarf and the stone cunning stuff, does he recognize any of the craftsmanship from this statue? You can make me a history or nature check and you roll with advantage due to your dwarven stone cunning. Ooh. History or a, what was the other one? Sorry. Nature. Oh, that both is bad. <sighs> roll again. That was, I did click with advantage. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're just as bad as my 10 charisma bard. So. <laughs> <laughs> like the one thing dwarves are, you know, earthen beings and all about rocks and stones are just like, what's this hard thing? I guess I mean. Unfortunately, you do not detect anything else about the statue. Mm. It's a nice lion. Thanks, Brink. What an astute observation. <laughs> Have you ever seen animals before, bro? <laughs> it's a beautiful I've just statue. heard about lions. <laughs> I haven't actually seen one. <laughs> to be fair, that's probably accurate. Where he's from. <laughs> I think Schmeg would, would, would continue sort of proceeding up towards the dojo. Maybe to the next set of statues. Okay. Once again, just more statues. Okay. Uh, more lanterns as well. That's what these are. Um, I'm picking flowers that I think are pretty. Okay. And I have a collection of four right now. I want. <laughs> All right. I want Schmeg to to fly fifty feet straight up into the air and in as booming of a voice as he possibly can say, Bippity boppity bippity bree. I command the owner of this dojo. Reveal yourself to me. Nope. <laughs> Nothing happens. Are these uh, no, it's lanterns home. lit? They are not. They're lit, fam. That's just, lit, yo, I knew it just, just a, <laughs> please, 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 no, just, please. Just, just resist, all right? Every time I describe a torch, the torch is lit. Dude, that's fucking lit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you see my character? Do you see my character? <laughs> no, I let it go. I let it go. Oh, just... You must know my totally awesome bro, sure four, dog. He's totally dicko. Close, close his eyes, takes a deep, sharp breath. Yes, that lantern is not lit. It is not cool. It is not hip. Okay. Not very pog, champ. Not I mean, very pog, dude. That. It is anti pogger. <laughs> oh, Metallica oh, flowers. I want to pick some of these. <laughs> Nalius, please. What? Scribbles is walking up the stairs. She's got like a crossbow. Like, <laughs> okay, fine, she's ready and like aiming as she walks forward. No, it's not. Uh, uh, I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. I get on my knees, start bowing down. <laughs> Please don't, <laughs> no, Please don't uh, shoot me with your crossbow. It, there was a warning, maybe. Schmeg, Schmeg bangs on the door. Open it! I made a, oh. a flower. Halo, and I put it on uh, Scribble's head. Out of the flowers. Thank you. Daisy I, chain, right on your head. This is your crown. <laughs> She's still just aiming at cross. You just need to chill. Please, what if I boofed it? <laughs> so you put a flower crown on Scribble's head, yes? Yes. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Please continue. <laughs> you fizzle out of reality. You are now dead. All right. What? We're calling another character. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so Schmeg, Schmeg banged on the door. No response? No response. Oh. Is it open? Bippity boppity, bippity boppin. I will cast the spell for these doors to open. The bat pushes the door. 
Rubad will push the door open. Amazingly, his strong, mundane hands. Uh, he, he opens the door. It's a door. You open it. Good job. <laughs> Again, well Schmeg is triumphant. Schmenema. Thank you, Analias. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he just say Bopin? Hello? Ah, uh, I didn't see you reciting any Shakespearean prose at the door. Who? Did he just you say never, Bopin? You never, heard of, you never heard of Shakespeare, that god back at the Imperial City who had the shaky hands? Oh, no, I did, I did actually. all the time. No, yeah, I've heard stories. Right. As you skadooshing, as you and no, as you <laughs> you get one oh, Kung Fu Panda reference. You get one. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Good it's the only one you get. Anyway, as you enter the um the dojo, you can see that there is a a peaceful looking statue of what appears to be the resting monk. So, uh, just a quick thing. I have a lot of Buddha symbolism in the in the Eastern continent, but um, since I don't know, uh, I don't want to like insult anybody. I just call it the resting monk. But that's <laughs> essentially what you see. Because okay. uh, the last time I introduced this, somebody got really fucking mad at me. That I had a, yeah, it was weird. And what? So I just decided not to do it that anymore. That was like the absolute antithesis of Buddhist ideology. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm saying. Like, ah! <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Right. Why is his elbow censored? That's not his elbow being censored. <laughs> He's got an elbow cock. The resting monk with with an elbow cock. <laughs> He's got an anus right here in his elbow. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, um, the resting monk is a symbol that is seen throughout the East that simply represents uh, peace, uh, good food, um, literally resting, and oftentimes when you see a resting monk, uh, although not every time, um, it is a hallowed place. Because it's a, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like how divine places in the West can be hallowed to a certain god, but because spiritualism in the East is different, um, the laughing monk is just simply, it has such, it uses the power of good vibes to consecrate an area, and resting in the presence of a good monk uh, of the resting monk is always a long rest, no matter how long. Oh, cool. So, what? can Schmeg yeah. can Schmeg attempt to um, Luke Skywalker uh, meditate in as much of a dramatic and and levitating fashion as possible to see if 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 meditating in this space will bring upon any communication with any kind of deity or anything? Well, <clears throat> you know that. Um, well, you know that it is it is hallowed in in the sense that I just described. Sure. But as to whether or not it will assist you with meditating and contacting another deity, you don't know for certain. Okay. But if there was ever a place in which one can achieve peace and tranquility, it's in front of the resting monk. So. Okay. Yeah, I think Schmeg would try to would try to meditate to see if anything is out here lingering in the astral sea, waiting to find someone, you know, entering an altered state of consciousness. Okay. Would anybody else like to do anything? Uh, <clears throat> well, um, I guess she's doing something. Anyway. I'm going to take Should off my explore? shoes. I'm still on my uh, crusade to get Scribbles to, like, chill out. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> my crusade I... to get Scribbles to chill the fuck out. Just yeah. stay, stay away from the business end of that crossbow, huh? What? And she, she's gonna turn <laughs> and <laughs> point it. <laughs> God! I'm taking off my shoes. Very yeah, respectful. I see, you. I see you. Should we all do that? Yes, you Ruben should. Ruben puts his feet up on the bench. <clears throat> it's quite comfortable. Scribbles, you you all right? Yeah, you meant to take them off? Wait, she's but they're... Sorry, there are shoes here. There are, yes. Okay. Indicating that someone must be here. 
Uh, um, uh, Shmenema, I know you like uh, meditating in front of inanimate uh, objects, uh, but there might be an actual animate, tangible uh, being that we could interact with because there's hear shoes you. here and can't, they. No, can't hear you. I I'm, think they might uh, smell fresh. I don't know. I might need to check. Oh, not again. No, can't hear you. Sorry, too busy knocking on insight? the side. Listen to the sound. Whoops. A perception? Perception if you wish to sniff the feet. All right. Analysis, you take the shoe, you put it against your nose, and you take a oh deep... God. Oh my god, what is this? This is the second, second time this has happened <laughs> in our campaign. You are able to detect that the person that wears these shoes cleans their feet off, uh, often. The shoes have very little lingering smell. Hmm. You they do have not really believe clean feet. D20. You, champ. you do not believe that they are nearby, however, because the scent is so faded that they have not been worn in perhaps years. It's probably been a while since shoes. they've been worn, but they are really clean now. I might want to, you know, barter with mine for this, but maybe we'll just talk to them first. Metallica has really uh, yeah. manicured and pampered feet. <laughs> like, oh, like weirdly, like, oh, you could be a foot model. <laughs> Powdered and... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. But it's like, boots are like, black leather that all crusted <laughs> with blood and just like been through hell and back again. Do you have like one of those boots where it has like all the buttons and the zippers, you know? Yeah. The just unnecessary shit. To the do. unnecessary lady boots that take and, like, six the years to remove. That are like ten feet long, so they like wrap around and they yeah. all hide. And you and, and you gotta like undo the bow at the top, and then you have to like yeah. stretch it out down the bottom so that you can take yeah. your. <laughs> all right. Eventually, he gets those two magnificent boots off. <laughs> Well done. Oh my god, your feet are so beautiful. Oh, these things? Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> these old things? <laughs> yeah, I made them myself. <laughs> uh, is is Schmeg uh, able to come into contact with um, anybody through his right. meditative practice? Make me a. Let's go with religion check on this one. Okay. <laughs> nope, no one's home. As you start to um, reflect, uh, what happens is you don't actually commune with any entity, but what you do is you commune with the positive emotions. The the, I hate saying good vibes because it it kind oh, of yeah. makes it you seem kind of casual vibes? and silly. Okay. But it's not a silly thing. This is a serious thing. This is a part of the world. So sure. the good vibes from the statue kind of emanate through you. You feel the acts of kindness that are performed in in the presence of the resting monk. Okay. You can see uh, the, the starving receive food from the offering plate. You can see uh, good conversation between old friends. You can see people seeking comfort in loss of a loved one you see you see even animals resting in the in the resting malt and the resting monk's palm and atop his head just this kind of washes over you in in equal amounts Ah, uh, well, that was pleasant, but ultimately fruitless. Now, where else should we look for the owner of this establishment? Well, I believe there's stairs. This is Metallica giggling, by the way. <laughs> I thought that was Scribbles making weird noises. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't usually giggle. Let me giggle. What about take your shoes off? No, I'm comfortable. Hey, Shmanimo, you might want to right. take off your... Oh. Yeah, they're just sort of ghostly appendages. Oh, they're just sticks. But not sticks, no. Ghostly appendages. I'm a serial being! I'm an serial being! I, I demand your respect! I'm going to very carefully like just slide this door uh, is it a sliding door it is a sliding door okay. what? i'm gonna just slide it very very slightly so i get just enough so i can peer through okay do i have access to that sliding door 
Fuck, I don't know. What you looking at? What you got? What do you see? Shh. What are you looking at? What do you see? Who's in there? No. All right, and inside you see this. Whoa. A wide open dojo with the Tommy play uh, with the Tommy matting. Uh, old wooden pillars hold up the dojo's inner frame. There are weapon racks on each side, and one beautiful looking katana here. Hey, Analias. Well, it's both. No, 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 no. No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Let's walk into someone's oh. dojo and boof that ceremonial katana. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, that's a sentence. <laughs> that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. What do you think, Scribbles? I mean, you've heard of sword swallowers. Oh. Oh, no. I'm just going to look over his shoulder at the stairs and... Oh, hold on. Go I have on. to do something for all the OCD people real quick. Should we go up the stairs first? Or should we there check we this place? <sighs> um, what's that? Oh, that's, uh... Don't worry about a, that. A rift in space and time. <laughs> <laughs> that's to bother everybody with OCD that's watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Schmeg, ah! I think. Well, Schmeg sort continue? of made the decision to pop open the chest, which brought us all here. So perhaps Schmeg should take a back seat on the decision making for a little bit. Oh come on! And Bubbles stroll it. Oh, Nobody's oh. fucking here. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Hello. Bubbles, you seem anxious. It seems yeah. that nobody responds. You'd be like this here. <clears throat> when you, you get know. to there, make me a perception check, Brubad, with advantage. Ooh. Twelve. Hold on. One more joke for chat. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Hey, Does that look bother at that. you? Does that bother you? <laughs> oh, I see you oh, no. slightly off center. <laughs> Yo, the crossbow's now pointed at chat. Keep bringing off centered <laughs> stuff. Scribble's going to take you out. All right. With that, Brubad, you notice that the, the craftsmanship on the blade is not ceremonial. This is a real weapon. It is of masterwork quality. It has, its hilt seems to be made out of some sort of white cloth and its sheath is made out of a white wood. You can see that there are pearl inlays along the uh, the sheath of the blade, and it seems to look, it seems to be in the design of a snowdrift. <clears throat> wow. Well, whoever got this mm. made and a bit of fucking money, I can tell you that much. Analysis. Yes. Be gentle now. I don't think we should go around touching this shit. But it would look like this would sell a lot if we got out of here with it, you know? So if we just slide it and hide it, when we're going out of this place. Yeah. You know, I mean, not... I know one place we could try to hide it, but really? I don't think that'd be a good idea. This is. It's not real. It's... What? Scribbles, you all right back there? Yeah, no, it's. It's not. It's it's there, but it, it's not. She said, "Go it, ahead and take it, Analias." Uh, oh. Oh, it's not real. So does it matter if I take it? Is that it? Wow! What flawless logic. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, oh. so well, so. Uh, what if I ask for permission at the guy at the throne? Uh, that's not a throne. That's a cushion. I think. Well, that technically is a throne, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to approach the pillow pet. Hello? All right. As you approach the, um, the comfortable looking ornate pillow atop this small wooden dais, you can see that it is flanked by two magnificent urns and they are burning slightly with incense. There does not appear to be anyone there. However. Mm -hmm. Uh, however. 
Show me. Uh, is this like a pause chat moment or is this just like a? No, there's no one there. Oh. <laughs> you do what you want. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> are you dying, my lord? <laughs> I don't know. I have like a weird cough. It came out of nowhere. I'm okay though. Go ahead. So it's vacant. Uh, why? Why don't we try looking up the stairs? Maybe they're upstairs. Why don't you sniff the pillow, dude? You sniff the shoes, why not the floor? Oh, <laughs> no, yes! That no, would be a good idea! What God. the fuck? Oh, this is the darkest timeline. Some people timeline. just really want to watch the world burn, and I want to fuck those feet. I would like to sniff the pillow. Okay. <clears throat> Another perception? Yeah. Or invest yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Why? That this is will get us not the main campaign. All right. Things. All right. Here we go. Um, another one. <laughs> Analias gets to the pillow, and a a deep you, bow of respect will slowly lower his face into the pillow <laughs> with absolute reverence to whomever once owned it. He will then take a deep breath of the. In essence of the pillow oh, God. <gasps> the, the deep scent of who once mm. sat upon it and all the things that go with that <laughs> all the essence sealed away oh, he will God. drain its essence into his mouth <laughs> and nose he will absorb the essence utterly and completely God. There was an emphasis on the essence here. Well, yeah, a lot of essence there, yep. Uh, Why? And I level up, not. <laughs> yeah. I. You have. Hold on, I need to. Um. Not again, please, not again. You have pink eye. For help. You know what? Nobody can judge this because he's been shoving shit up his ass. Okay? True. Yeah. Yeah. Sniffing has him. been like the most. Yeah, this is mild. It's the fact he's rolling 20s every time he sniffs right. something that I have a problem with. It like... makes it worse. <laughs> hey, who TPK you know, the enemy? 10 charisma bard <laughs> in your fucking dwarf that doesn't understand what a rock is. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? If If another thing triggers. I will grant you a free marshal check. <laughs> okay. A free successful marshal check if something else happens that is related to this. The pillow? Yes, I can't say anything more than that. Oh. <laughs> but you are filled with a profound uh, olfactory knowledge <laughs> of, whoever, <laughs> of whoever sat upon this pillow. So do you smell good? <laughs> Yes, I heard the P word. Would I, I be attracted to this person? Sit on, sit on, the, going, sit on the pillow. Uh, well, I kind of want to see how squishy Johnny. it is. But I also want to see what's underneath the pillow. It's a big pillow. Oh, good point. So before I jumps on it, I kind of want to see what's underneath. Like, what if, what if there's like some hollow hole and I just jump on the pillow and I sink to the abyss? I'm going to check underneath the pillow. As you look underneath the pillow, you will see that it is nothing but a plain wood. All right. Try sitting on it. <laughs> do it. What's the worst that could happen? Just sit dude. in the throne. I'm going to go back 10. Is it? Ten dude, dude eat the pillow. <laughs> eat the pillow. Boof the pillow. I'm going to boof it. No. Don't boof it. Cannonball no. onto the pillow. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, you... Sit Ooh. right on the middle of the pillow. Uh -oh. <laughs> as as you do so, it is quite comfortable. There is a resounding uh, as you sit down on the pillow, uh, you rattle the two urns next to you. Ooh, sorry. That's that's it. He said when it, when he sits down, the two urns rattle. Yeah, because his he weight oh, hitting the th floor. Oh, I see. Because he's see. got a dump truck, dude. <laughs> Can uh, Schmeg look in those urns? Pop sure them open, thing. take a take a gander. Yeah. All right. As you take a gander uh, inside each of the urns, you can see an incense burning, and its fuel appears to be a precarious white dust. 
Ooh, grab the dog. No. Grab the dog. Grab no. The dog. No. Grab the no, no, no. Schmeg slams the slams the lid shut no, and covers it with his body. It. Someone help me! He's going to put it in his butt! <laughs> Not again! No! Please! I, my file's empty, please! You know, <laughs> fine, I'll do it myself. No! Metallica, fight him! Uh, Metallica is already skipping Essence on this one. Oh my since god. That one's not oh my god. Alright, so you scoop out the dust. Put it in the vial. Put it in the vial. Okay. So now do go. I have the file of lowercase or uppercase? Or do this I need to uh, lowercase uh, dust? Okay. Make me an investigation. <laughs> oh jeez. Ooh. Just dust, dude. And that's what Whoa. you think. Natty twenty. What really? the fuck? <laughs> Three in a row? Here's what we're yeah. like doing all these twenties, and then something's gonna happen, and then we're gonna get fives. Yeah, seriously. He didn't roll yet. He didn't roll. Oh, oh, he didn't roll. Okay, okay, okay. Did I need okay. to roll okay. for something? Investigation. <laughs> Investigation. Oh. Yeah, I was talking. I was... I did. Oh yeah, you you kind of like coughed in the middle of it. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, with the 12, you're able to I recognize that this is not dust with a capital D. This is dust with a lowercase d. And it's, in fact, bone dust. As you can see, that there are bits, pieces, and fragments of a skull within. Boy, that's a bummer. That's pretty metal. Well, there's bones in here. That's kind of interesting to use that for a mm. that Boner dust. I'm going to cast <laughs> Raise the Dead on the bones. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> How Do did you any... die? How did you turn it down? <laughs> with, with that investigation, or would that have have to be like some sort of knowledge or something to know how long it would take to like burn bones as an essence to like medicine to check how long? Okay. Hmm. Well, fucking forever, at least, right? All right, yeah. well. Maybe I need to boof it and learn more. But first, I think we should go upstairs and investigate. Sure, Smeg is good with that. Metallica's doing mock karate moves. Because he's also a dipshit, but Ooh. also really likes kung fu. That's offensive. That's yes. offensive. <laughs> yeah. Part of dipshit, did you know? <laughs> Shall we go upstairs and see what's going on? Maybe it'll give us more clues, more answers. Yes. Good idea. Also, <clears throat> this place looks very off-center to me. <laughs> very off-center to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mental breakdown. <laughs> Dies. <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right, Burn, trying to make another character? I really want to poke the sword. Oh, <laughs> if you it, won't, be a bad I girl will. This one time. <laughs> Is it finally your turn to cause some mayhem there, Kiwo? <laughs> uh, this is so Mystery. painful. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go Do ape it. shit? Do it, give in. This is the moment. Give in to temptation. Do it, touch the it's sword. It's an easy okay. Win. Okay. No one's here. Okay, so I guess everyone's asking for it, dude. <laughs> so, so Scribbles is... Dressed. She's going to just slowly turn around and she's got a crossbow in one hand and as she Jerome. turns... As she, like, turns around, she just very lightly brushes the sword with, like, her pinky finger. It's like at the very tip of the hilt. I see. Very sly. One moment, please. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Should have boofed. Should have boofed. Yeah, should have boofed. Should have boofed. Should have should have put boofed. your mouth on it. <laughs> should have put your mouth on it. <laughs> I should have boofed. God damn it. All righty. Uh oh. One moment, please. I'm Wait, sorry. Wait, did Rhythm Bucket? Yeah, so Rhythm. Rhythm two. Rhythm so two. Back. What? Yeah, Libra said they restarted it. Let's use Rhythm two in the meantime. 
I don't know how I that can works. get my kazoo. Pog? If you touch that the fucking kazoo. Might work? No. No. Oh. No. No, it's working now. Let's go. <gasps> Libra. Let's um, uh, go. Pog. I have a harmonica Thanks. too that I'm actually kind of good with. Thank you, Libra. Yes. Okay, so as you touch the blade as softly as you possibly can, the room begins to shift. For fuck's sake. There is a swirling wind that fills the dojo. <laughs> and then you see it. You see shadows move across the dojo. They are fighting. There is the faint sound of a sword clashing against a sword. You recognize Notchek from the fables previous. <laughs> and you see an older man that seems to be teaching him the blade. You can see that there are several cycles which you believe might, end, might represent days of them fighting, resting, talking, fighting, resting, talking. And each day, it seems that Notchek is getting better. But then there is one scene that it stops in. Notchek presents the scroll to his master. But his master raises his hand in refusal. And Notchek is distraught and asks why. And the man gestures towards the resting monk and then makes the same sort of seated gesture that the resting monk does. Notchek appears to be completely overwhelmed by this news. You see him throw things throughout the dojo, point and yell. And the entire time, his master maintains the same position. Weird. Finally, enraged, Notchek leaves, uh, leaves the dojo and takes the scroll with him. You hear the sound of shifting tatami, plate, uh, tatami mats, and you hear doors slide open to the east. However, the spirit of the old samurai still lingers upon the pillow, and the blade is a very real thing. The spirit on the pillow descends down the steps and will stand here and will draw his weapon and wait to be challenged. Canalias. If you wish to claim his weapon, you must oh. first earn oh. the right. Damn! <gasps> Upgrade time! I didn't touch anything. Gribble, it's it's time, time to become an MC! So let me! Okay. Are you sure? Uh, uh, not yet, I don't know. Okay, well, Metallica didn't wait for the weight and grabbed him by uh, his little strap on his chest and just is slapping the shit out of Anali. <laughs> uh oh, okay. But like, but more is like a supportive, like, all right, dude, you gotta get amped up. You gotta know what you gotta fucking do. Show me your garbage. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Scream at me. <laughs> Who's a badass? Scribbles We're gonna is turn around. Scribbles is gonna turn around now, and just I'm now punch ass him. up. I'm just on the <laughs> ground, ass up right now. <laughs> I'm beating oh, his ass. God, what am I watching? Say my name! Oh. Uh, oh, Metallica! Mercy! Oh, God, oh, no. I can't believe we're doing this in oh, someone's God. dojo! Who's gonna kick the ass? Um, me? I don't yeah, know why you you're smacking me. I turn around. I face. I I like stand back up. I turn around and face Metallica as he he just prepares for a massive <laughs> swing across my cheek. <laughs> what? I'm trying to? It's like slow motion. You see this maximum velocity swooping slap. It's like <laughs> too far. I can't even dodge it. It's already in motion. Uh oh. And I just spin around like five times and collapse on the ground. I don't know my own strength. Now I'm waiting for music. What? 
Oh wait, you want you want me to play something for you to wake up? Uh, play yeah. him in! Play him in! Yeah. Play All me right. in! All right, I can do that for you. Oh, <laughs> Scribbles is gonna uh, Mattel, and she's gonna point to the guitar. <laughs> oh, um, I can play one of these. Sure, sure. But I've, I've got I've got actual oh, okay go for it. songs for it as well. I just gotta find them. I don't have a. Uh, I'll play a true strike because I don't think I'll ever use that ability ever. Uh, sure, go ahead. But uh, oh, you I. you get mean, the I don't music. Wanna... Let's hear it. Yeah, pick uh, play the music. Oh no, I was it. saying you can play that while oh. he's getting that set up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is the full thing. Ooh. I think this is the right one. That's it, Tina. That's so fucking cool, dude. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> Santino is so fucking cool, man. He's so good. Sorry. If I play it again, it starts from the beginning, so I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all good. But it goes. It's actually it goes for quite a bit. That's the song sick. is sick. Wait, can you only marshal check in combat? No, but you have to actually see. Hmm. Oh, you did say I get a free one. Uh, I'll handle that when it when it's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, in that case, uh, there is. Here, I'll just play this. I'm waiting. I'm pausing. Whoops. That's the wrong channel. Tee hee. So I hear people. Ooh. Oh. oh my god, dude. Who's your enemy? It's time to wake the fuck up. <gasps> hey, both don't forget the fucking sword, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people will hand it. <laughs> Don't hurt us, all right? It's over there somewhere. Here. Yeah. The the ballad. Uh, is there time for me to um give him bardic inspiration? Ballad of Mad Mork. Oh, you want to give him? Okay. You want to? You want to give him some bardic inspiration? Yeah. Go ahead. I don't want to. I don't want to come to the song because this is like setting a mood. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, uh, do I have to roll for that or? Nope. You just give it to him. Okay. Okay, a little bit of tops. Just like in the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> she goes together really well. All right. Anyway, you have it. We're yelling. Yes, dude. Show yourself. All right. And so the old man will slowly begin to materialize. And then all is still. And you will see this man appear before you. Oh, he also has things Whoa. on his shoulder. We both have fun. <laughs> He's bamboo and I have mushrooms. <laughs> it was meant to be. He will stand. Uh, opposed to you, an old Glayan elf, a uh, reedwood elf. His old sword at his side, 
he will stand to face you. And then he will say, I had thought it to be a strange thing to bind one's memory to a fable. It would seem that you wish to claim the weapon of my forebearers, the weapon that my student denied. Tell me, samurai, do you keep to Bushido? I keep to many things. But yes, I do. That is good. There is one thing that my student could never truly embrace. He could not learn that the tools of war are best used for peace. His heart was inflamed by what he had been through. He sought to stop the evils with a preemptive strike. It is a difficult thing to teach those that practice the way of the warrior that it is of the utmost aversion that they should use their skills. There is no need. Violence or force as a deterrent is fine. And oftentimes defeats the need to actually use it. I had told him this and he could not comprehend it. He sought, he sought death when there could be peace. And thus with my final breath, before the fable took me, I gazed at my own weapon a weapon that my clan, my family, had passed down for so long. Truly, some things perhaps can never be repaired. Tell me, Samurai, do you know of the clans? Are you versed? and their politics? I'm going to assume I don't. That's fine. No. However, I would love to learn more. In fact, I seem to preach a lot about preemptive striking. Perhaps this could be more of a conversation. Maybe we could learn more from each other, other than striking our blades. Perhaps, just from a conversation, there will be no need for war, no need for the blades to strike once more. That fills my heart with joy to hear you have such an approach. I do not blame you for not knowing of the intricacies of these politics. Diplomacy, however, requires that you learn them, much to my own chagrin. For why violence can be abhorred, there must always be a battle to be fought, whether it be by words, philosophy, commerce. It does not matter. Life is a struggle. I tried to teach my... my dearest pupil the way of my clan, the Ayusa. But he could not fathom justice without the finality of death. He thought, he thought 
that there could be no peace without destruction. And with that, the samurai will seat himself in front of you, his weapon at his side. Hmm. Uh, what all do I have in my explorer's pack? Do I have, like, any tea? Uh, as a samurai, as, as a samurai, I believe you can, uh, I believe that's part of your ration kit. So if you want to Perfect. prepare tea, that's fine. I would like to prepare tea. All right. And to everyone else watching, what you thought would be a, a, a duel of blades, in fact, turns into something quite peaceful. Interesting. A battle of haikus. Damn. As you, uh, as you prepare the tea, um, the old man uh, will continue. He lost his way. He... War is a terrible thing. We must learn to wage it, for no one is a fool to ignore that it is... that it is reasoned to exist. Only fools are pacifists. But... One does not need to kill to prove one's point. That is the way of the Ayusa. That is the way of my family. The way of the resting monk. You believe mercy is the ultimate outcome of any battle. Of course. Is that not the purpose of fighting, is to no longer have to fight? At least, to one who is not mad. Think, think of the role of the soldier and warrior. Why they are there. They are there as a deterrent against the very thing they represent. They are there to note that those rules made are followed. They are there to deplete the need of their own existence. There are many who believe that it is a natural thing to pick up the blade, but I would propose a counter-argument. If people are born knowing how to fight, then why must they go into training to learn how to do it? If violence is natural, why does it take years of commitment to learn it? I believe there's two ways, two paths, that everyone chooses with this violence. The reason why we train, train so hard, so that we can overcome this violence, this evil, bring upon peace. We want to be able to bestow mercy to be stronger than our adversaries. Ah, yes. I once knew a warrior who spoke similarly. He stated that only the strong can be kind, for kindness comes from having more than another, and to offer it to them freely. But the weak cannot be kind. That was his belief. Well, that's where you're wrong. I'd like to pull out my flowers and hand them to him. These flowers are weak, are they not? Hmm. They're fragile. Yet, they can offer something to this world, a beauty, something that even the strongest of things can't provide. So you don't have to be strong to give and be a light to this world. You can be strong in your own ways, just like these flowers. Not only do they spread joy and smiles to the youth, but the positive smells, the aroma, as well as what they provide to the earth and nature around us. It's imperative. Not only that, 
But with a garden comes a gardener. I believe that we are those gardeners. We help those weak shine and put on a display of beauty. I feel like we are the ones that water the weak to make them strong and shine in their own ways. Everyone is built different. Take a sip of tea. A fine analogy, but I wonder, can a flower offer kindness on its own? For the flower I hold in my hand, you did doth pick, and you yourself are stronger than a flower. It would never have reached my hand without your interference. And by your own admittance, gardeners we may be, but stronger than are we of those that we garden. I understand your statement for what it is, however. I do not bide myself with semantics. These are one of the many little evils that the resting monk teaches of us. I, for one, do not believe we are in disagreement. Well, I believe you're undervaluing these flowers, because they also still have to push through that earth, germinate, and blossom, and survive on their own. We can merely hold their hand, but they still have to make the body work, the body function. We're merely a marionette. They have full control of the puppet. As much as we would like to fully help their body move to the right destination, their path is theirs to choose. Their strength is their own. We can hold their hand as long as we'd like, but they can reject it and choose their own path, their own journey. For me, I don't think that's weak. I think they're no weaker than you and I. We're all in an even playing field. It's with different attributes to provide. Other than that, I do believe we're not at any disagreement. And I admire your tenacity. A strange thing it is when you consider nature's perfect cruelty. For while I do not disagree with you, a point must be made that yes, a flower must push its way through the earth, but is the tree doth evil for eating the sun the flower could have used? For flowers grow in meadows, my friend, not in the shade of greater things. And yet in the tree, a home may be built Within the tree, the world is made much better. The impact of one's kindness must be attached to their strength. Do you not agree? T. He will also drink some tea. That's just the tea, sis. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I get it. It was too good. You had to. <laughs> 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 uh, Balls in your court, big guy. Very well. Need some help? <laughs> so why don't we. No differences aside, real quick. And enough with the talking. Let's make the blades talk for us. The pleasant spree of sorts. Duel. I believe that is where most warriors, most samurai, learn best. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. If only I was more than a spirit. You have proven yourself to me already. It was not your words. 
It was the tea. It was the shoes taken from your feet. One must adhere to the little goods, to the small things, for that is the way of the resting monk. I do not know if it will aid you on your journey, but it is best that my weapon see the sun again. I Let's thank do. you, young one. Of course, I'll make sure this blade shines brighter than any other. However, I do have a question. I know that you're bound to this fable. Is there any sort of way that this blade is tangible? Correct. It is without, with, uh, sorry, without. It's beyond the bounds of this fable. Ah. You ask me if it will yet be real when you return to the waking realm. That is what I ask. I would say that it will only be fully manifested when you have come to understand me. But it would seem, through providence, you somehow already do. Bella. With that, the old man will stand. I thank you for the tea, my friend. And he will offer a cordial bow. Will I ever see you again? There's got to be something we can do. Maybe I could... oof you. <laughs> Your ways are strange. But no. <laughs> Our paths will meet again when you walk the heavenly falls. Very well. And with that, the spirit returns. I've never seen someone offer to boof their nope. sensei. Out of that, so he's like, no. And then... <laughs> I just like to think of him saying like, no, and then fading away right in yeah. front of him. <laughs> Oh, that was so fucking cool. <laughs> All right. That was wicked, man. I'm clapping because I don't know how to, I don't want to be loud, but at the same time, just like, oh my God. Dude, dude. that was crazy. Oh, All right, Analias, his weapon is now yours. I would like to go to the pillow, sit on it, and meditate for a moment. All right. And uh, while I do so, I would like to, um, I think there's like a dragon on there, right? Yeah. With the sword, uh, I want to cut one of the ends of the pillow and tie it. I'm going to try to like lace it into the hilt, I guess, or like the handle so that it hangs, like it dangles that little straw part of the pillow. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, is he vandalizing that guy's pillow after that nice talk? That's fucked up, man. He took his sword and cut the guy's pillow with it. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Hey, how'd it go, Analias? The tea was nice. You could say that you really tea posed him into dominance. Guys, where you go? Come on. Where's everyone going? Fine. He left the call. <laughs> he, he, oh, he, <laughs> he just left, dude. <laughs> I now collapse on the ground, ass up as usual. Oh, we. So we can. Either go up or to the east. Let's go up. Let's see what's on the upstairs. stairs. Minus one right? HP, please. Can I lose one HP for tripping on the stairs? Uh, yeah, sure. I can. I could fly you up to the top of stairs. I'll, I'll make it up eventually. Don't worry about me. All right. 
crawling, crawling, crawling. Scrabble, you want me to fly you up to the top? You know what, no, with I... your sad little legs mm -hmm. and all. Excuse me. No, I'm what? fine. Okay. I'm uh, you fine. can carry me, dude. No, that's no, that's all right. <laughs> you can carry oh. me, dude. <laughs> Talaga's like six foot something who knows what the fuck. I'm just like... <laughs> oh, I think it's Schmeg grabbing Metallica's like collars and just... <laughs> just grabbing them <laughs> Grabbing like a horn and some yeah. just You know what I want? <laughs> I need like a... <laughs> I need a... Yes. A Schmeg Ratatouille on Metallica. You know? Like pulling on the horns, the hair, like trying to direct Metallica up the stairs. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> But you're wearing my mushroom hat now. It's so Sucker. cute. The little dogs like doing stuff. I can't believe we killed up that mosquito's whole family and he still considers us his friend. <laughs> Wait, you what? sniffed his pillow, dude. You're like I in his, ass. his pillow. For like centuries of ass is. that what? has been on that pillow. You totally went nose first into it. What's his sword? All right, as you, uh, get to the top of that staircase, you will see that it leads to the rooftop. Oh. Um, for maintenance purposes, it would seem. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh. Wait, the sword that I got, do I have to put that into my equipment now? Yeah, and it's a magical weapon. Would you like to know what, what it does? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Alright, go ahead and take a gander at the scrolls of not check. As scrolls you wield of what? Not check, and you are now wielding, um, the weapon of old man Sai. Oh, it's cool. And, it, and, and it is the called. The Avenger. Ooh. It is called. It is called tomorrow. Oh, dude, oh. more like scroll of nut check. Ah. Tomorrow is a plus one katana that grants the abilities of the Ayayusa clan, which means that you can do non-lethal damage uh, without any penalty, and that if you do defeat an enemy with non-lethal damage, you are healed. Uh, for Ooh. an amount equal to uh, your So it's got a 15 foot range? Oh, no, 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 hold on, I'll, I'll explain it. So uh. whenever you defeat an enemy with a non-lethal source and you can do non-lethal damage with any source, you regain your level in hit points by doing so. Oh my God. Uh, in addition to that, whenever you use fighting spirit on yourself, choose an ally within 15 feet and you heal them for five hit points. Dude, that's amazing. You that's just became cool, the group's dude. dedicated healer. <laughs> For one move. <laughs> it's a non-lethal damage. If I kill something with non-lethal damage. If you defeat it, yeah. Okay. Cool. That's what is sick. A plus one katana. This just means like I have a katana now, right? That's not like a modifier thing, right? No, that's plus one to attack and damage. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I have already updated your, or I'm in the middle of updating your uh, weapon right now. Okay, I just put in my notes, but yeah, awesome. So it's no longer a long sword, but <laughs> only losers use that. <laughs> now, where's our, where's the gang? Oh my gosh, scribbles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Everyone's all over when, the place. But during that during that strange apparition, there was commotion over by the east doors. Should we go and check? Sure. Yeah. Or or should we not check? <laughs> I don't get why that's so funny. Never mind, penis tiger. All right, you're coming with me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just grab okay, him so by the wings. Right? <laughs> we are upstairs now. No, you're on top of the roof. Uh, oh, we're on the roof. I think the rest of yeah, us. Yeah. I thought no, the we rest of us went it. down because we're like, oh, this is like a. Um, That's the roof. Oh, oh okay. Well, too right. bad now. Oh, oh, power right. game so, so, so basically, since you um, when you go up when you go up the stairs, it takes you to the rooftop so that you can clean the roof and stuff. That's what the stairs lead to. Oh. That's the intention. So. Oh. I guess we just go back down then. Alrighty. Uh, now that we're down here, Brubad walking through the lobby and this main area will take the scepter out, the Lawkeeper scepter. 
Mm -hmm. and we'll just be spinning it in one hand just to hold it and see if it does anything <laughs> in this place I like to think like... each time he swings it like to its apex Schmig is kind of like leaning backwards like oh okay uh, ooh, <laughs> all right get the... <laughs> not sure that we should be do doing that here but okay all right what's all right. the um... Imagine Brewbed being Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3 going down the street with his staff. <laughs> <laughs> just like looking around with us. Just... Well, yeah, I'm the MC. As you, uh, as you present the scepter, a couple of things do happen. Oh. Ooh. It reveals to you uh, the fate of old man Sai. Ooh. Aww. Uh, what you see is uh, the dojo a lit, a lit in flame. Uh, you can see that there are holes in the canvas, the pillars shattered, the statue defaced, and old man Sai sits in front of an eclipse soldier with a sword to his neck. A soldier asks him something, and the old man looks up and remains silent still in the stance of the resting monk. And then his head is removed from his shoulders. Oh! What? Fucking hell. Jesus! There is something that you notice, however. You need to make me a history check, Brubed. Oh, oh hell no. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> This is my strong suit. Good. Yes. Oh. You recognize the soldier. <gasps> no. To what? The, you recognize the soldier. Don't tell me it's not, Jack. The soldier is not Jack. No! <laughs> oh, God! That motherfucker! He trained him! He trusted you! He trusted you! It's got oof. That's a harsh, big dude. oof. It's got big oof. oof energy. What do we know about the Eclipse uh, soldiers? The Eclipse are... Well, the Eclipse are essentially the, the main Eastern Kingdom. Uh, during the time period that this would have taken place in, it had not yet conquered the Eastern Kingdoms. It, the Eastern Kingdoms were still being conquered at this point. And uh, essentially, the Eclipse were once a smaller clan that for the longest time didn't really have a much prominence until a certain warlord came along who would eventually be known as the Pale Emperor rose up, oh. took control of the Eclipse clan and conquered the Eastern Kingdoms. Of Kalimdor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Uh, uh, hmm. So was this before or after the scroll events? Uh, this Do is all know? following the same chronological order. So not check as a young man, uh, what you just went through, the battles he went through with the eyeless ones, uh, seeking out his master, and then apparently, according to the Lorekeeper staff, returning many, many years later, uh, searching for something. And apparently, killing his master. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so Nutcheck was not such a good guy after all. What did you see, Brubad? That old bloke with the bamboo yeah. bones. Yes. Apparently, uh, <clears throat> no check. Came back here a while after the events that we knew. Well, just, just now. And, uh, <clears throat> he runs his finger along his throat. What? You know. <clears throat> oh. <gasps> Oh, I guess he'll, ne 
Guess you'll never be the head of this dojo. <laughs> Shake! What? <laughs> I got you. So, you know, I don't know really what Why that means, but <laughs> it looks like he was uh, part of the, you know, the conquerors and all that, but I don't know. Seems like a pretty peaceful bloke. He got the scroll, so what was he searching for? We go further on. I mean, those doors opened over there. Perhaps <laughs> waving your wand further on. It's not a fucking wand. It's a scepter. All right. Whatever. Pretty bad. We'll walk over with the staff or <laughs> the scepter <laughs> out the doors. See if anything else happens. All right. As you step out of the door, the scene begins to change. Ooh. The fades. world twists and fades. Hmm. One moment, please. Uh, Scribbles ran back to collect her thing. shoes. Oh yeah. She's got she's got her shoes in hand, crossbow in one hand and her shoes in the other. Are you pointing at me? Not Metallica's go go boots. Oh you bring me my shoes. <laughs> Can I bring you your shoes? <laughs> yeah, fine, I'll go get your shoes. Thanks, dog. <laughs> well, he probably grabbed him when he got flung over there. Yeah, true, fair enough. Music. I put on my shoes. I thought that was part of this music. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so, that's so cool. Let me know when you're loaded. Oh shit. I'm in. Um, I'm in. Anyone not I'm in, in yet? I'm still loading. Okay. What I'm the in. Fuck. Nice. Cool. Dude, what this the is F? sick. I'm gonna grab a drink, be right back. Oh. Uh... Yeah, me too. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a drink too. Do it, I dare you to. I will! Yeah! Watch me! Now it's the perfect opportunity for me to tell chat all about an exciting opportunity to subscribe today at twitch.tv slash arcadum. That's right. If you've got Twitch Prime connected to your Amazon Prime, you can subscribe once a month for free. That's right. Check the upper right hand corner of your browser or mobile window to see if you have a crown. If you do, your Twitch Prime subscription might be available. Twitch Prime, subscribe today. <laughs> Birds chirping As they do It's a lot of fire Yeah It is a lot of fire <laughs> Suffer <laughs> Chat oh, don't you fucking know me this time. Yeah thank god <laughs> <laughs> it's working! It's working! <laughs> this episode's been pretty fucking crazy. It's been oh crazy. A lot has what happened, man. <laughs> I mean, last episode was pretty nuts as well. The crazy thing that I think is like the smallest little things that you wouldn't think have a massive dump of lore behind them we do and then it happens like boofing a bit of dust or opening a chest like these or sniffing pillow. someone's pillow <laughs> yeah. sniffing someone's pillow How, yeah like understanding that dude 
just a nat, nat 20 on sniffing the pillow. Like, why? <laughs> why? I know his essence. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> two nat 20s, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> back seriously. Back, two time champion. I, how did you roll on the first episode when you first sniffed the shoes? I don't know. I know my first roll was a nat 20 as well. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't remember what the roll was for, though. Maybe it was for the shoes. I actually don't I know. Because that would have been your no, first you, roll. You, you did, I remember, because I was, again, telling you, I'm like, you should smell those mm. shoes, dude. And then I... Oh, wait, no, I nat 20. told you to give it a taste, but then our Kim's like, no. <laughs> Yeah, the net 20 was on the combat roll. That's what it was with the fly. Don't think I got a net 20 on the sniffing. It's unacceptable. It's all right. Just wildfire and wipe the party out again. Yeah, exactly. I have a crossbow. Thank you. <laughs> This group is all about learning about anatomy. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's like a science Small lesson. Hands, what the rectums, fuck, bro? And tiny hands. <laughs> no. My you said anatomy. Feet. Okay, perfect someone, feet. someone, someone, someone in my chat uh, resubbed uh, like a few weeks ago and said, uh, "Hey, Milton, with the size of your hands, if you spoke sign language, would it sound like whispering?" <laughs> Shut up! Or they, all, they also said if Milton if Milton spelled out his hands in sign language, would it all be lowercase? Shut up! Shut Screaming up. in lowercase. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm back. Hey. Welcome back. Right. Sorry about that. No, no worries. It's fine. Had to Give wake up food. Tiff. Make sure she was. Make sure she was up. <laughs> you know, I see some people be like, oh, whoa, that's crossing the line or that's rude. Milton deserves it in tenfold. I, I don't think you guys excuse understand. Excuse you? I beg oh, your pardon? You. Yeah. I mean, you Listen, roast yourself more than we you roast you. Malicious. Oh, my God. Degenerate shit <gasps> that comes out of your mouth. Oh. I cannot believe that you feel okay talking to a veteran that well, way. At least dude. I'm honest. Oh, you know? Unbelievable. Oh. Unbe unbelievable. It's just RP. D colon, right, dude. Man, it's not that deep. It's just RP. See you on the forums, kiddo. OOC. See you on the forums. <laughs> See you on the forums, kiddo. I like this D&D. Oh, this is OOC, I can by take the way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like your RP. Anyway. Oh, uh, that actually, you know, this randomly reminds me of something else. Um, I, uh... I was thinking about talking to Coil about seeing mm -hmm. if I could actually try uh, DMing like a session of like modern esque roleplay in GTA 5 as like an invisible yeah. avatar. I think that'd be really cool. Dude, that'd be cool. I, 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 that would be cool. I think it's excellent. I have a character named Merlin Durlin, aka Lord Notlim E. Kip of the Cursed Tower. And his whole thing is going around trying to act as a DM for players. And people are almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With Djibouti? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People are almost, uh, almost without exception, are always down for something like that. So you would yeah. dominate it. Absolutely. Oh, oh I, well, I didn't mm. mean like as like a fantasy DM, like, but I meant like actually dming like a scene for people holy shit that's two 200 iq that galaxy cool. brain for me man like 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 what i mean by it like that is like i run like a scenario in gta 5 where like they're hunting a serial killer and when the cops come up to investigate the scene i just read like i just narrate to them what they see like a <laughs> oh. actual dungeon master <gasps> I yeah. Do that. Yeah, 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 yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's basically what I'm like. I'd actually be a dungeon master in the in the when game. When I um, when I met like um, what Garrick, and all of yeah. those that and like, uh, sure four and oh my Bigger gosh, yep. and all of that, and I met them in GTRP. My character that I was playing was a cop, and I went off duty and I became friends with them, and they were like, oh yeah, we're the adventure party. We play D and D, and they would uh. Shiny was our DM, 
And we, um, the first time I, I've never role played my character going off of duty because it like makes you a uh, target to get kidnapped and killed as a cop, which mm. is like, I just don't want to deal with it. So anyway, I was hanging out with them and we went out to a park and we um, made characters. I play uh, the Terminator and I'm from the future and I time travel, but that's my, I have no idea how to play like D and D, like they were just dictating or whatever. So whenever we see each other, we call each other by our D&D &D names. And it's like exceptionally really fucking nerdy. Because they'll come <laughs> over and they'll be like, Terminator, Terminator, I know who shot this person at the apartments. And everyone's like, who the fuck is Terminator? Like, <laughs> but like, I'll go, I'll go to scenes and I'll tell them like, all right, guys, roll a D20. We have to see if we see this evidence and I'll get my flashlight out. <laughs> it's really fun. All right. So as you step through um, uh, the doorway, it leads you to a new section of the scroll. This one, the aftermath of a great battle. Oh. You, you can see the smoky, fiery remains of several vehicles, bodies uh, piled up into corpse piles, set aflame. You can see old palisades broken and shattered from the battle, arrows and broken gear and blood stain and litter the ground in equal measure. The crows circle and sweep and feast upon that which remains. And even though you cannot see them, you can hear the agonizing cries of soldiers still dying, opportunists looting the dead, and who knows what else. Ah, doesn't that sound like music to anybody else? <clears throat> you hate music? Music to I... my ears. You see, you hear the languid cries of defeated foes. <sighs> Sounds like victory. Finalius cowers and uh, <laughs> is not comfortable at all. Bubba will walk over to Analyus, <clears throat> put his hand on his on his shoulder. Y you're right, big man. What's going on? You said like tea and stuff, and now you just look a bit cold. I don't like this. this we need to help these people. How, how can we, me my we're only five. I don't like it. We're only five. How could we save all of them? Much better to just let them die. Can uh, can Schmeg can uh, can I like roll a perception check to see if there's some area of the battlefield where where activity seems to be concentrated the most? Like, is there is have things piddled down around, but there's still something going on in one particular area of the battlefield that uh, that Schmeg can see from here? It seems that there are more crows focused towards the center. So ah. that's probably where the worst of the fighting was. Perhaps we should proceed to the center, where it seems like most of the fighting was. Nice, dude. When people exactly repeat what I tell them in character, <laughs> like norm it doesn't it doesn't bother me, but it's just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's... Hmm, there seems to be an abnormally large congregation of crows towards the center where it seems that the battle was mostly centrally located. We should proceed there. A murder of crows no. lies ahead. <laughs> oh, look at that murder of crows. Okay, come on. Come on, Anali, it's brew bad. Uh, but what are ravens called? They're called like an assault or something? It's, ca it's mm. called like a business class or something. I forget what it is. <laughs> God, I can't remember. The Parliament of Owls. <laughs> An unkindness. That's it. An, An unkindness? <laughs> what? Yeah. Ravens are called an unkindness. Oh my goodness, look at that unkindness Damn. of ravens, said no yeah. one ever. Oh. What about a gaggle of geese? There we go. I'm Dude, just those on are the ground. more terrifying than ravens. Imagine you... a group of geese descending upon you and you're just like, where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm snail mailing my way forward on the ground, just like inchworming. 
That's, that's the movements <laughs> I'm making. I'm looking at, like straight at the ground, trying to tune out everything. I'd in say this that Schmeg uh, Schmeg has like a, a part of your clothing and is is flapping his wings and You're sort of on my I, stick wings. Yeah, yeah, and sort of idly, idly dra pull dragging you along. <laughs> you like dragging people. Um, can I roll a perception check and just see what's going on? Sure thing. Alec is in a battle stance like his guitar is a, like a hammer or something. I'm going to beat someone. All right, Scribbles, as you move forward, the horrid aftermath of the battle becomes apparent all around you. You begin to see them. Piles of ashen, uh, melted corpses on top of each other. Flaming carriages of supplies and all that yet still remains of the battle. You guys should see that, right? You see the yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Carriage. See some white thing in the carriage. I was gonna say. Looks like an egg sack. I'll pass on spiders for today. Yep. Yep. I'll pass on spiders <laughs> for today. <clears throat> what do you guys do? Hmm. I'm inconsolable on the ground. I would like Schmeg to fly over to one of the piles of corpses and see if he can pick out any identifying characteristics. Which one you want to go uh, to? That one right at the top one. Yeah, yeah, bingo. Please tell me you let go of me. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smeg just dropped you. <laughs> Slump. <laughs> All right, as you fly over the corpse pile, uh, inside you can see that there appears to be uh, heraldry of the eclipse, which you've already seen before, but you also see heraldry of several other clans you do not recognize. It seems that this was a multi-lined uh, battle, not against two forces, but against several. Hmm. I see many different warriors from many different factions here. There was a fire fight! Good reference, but you know, <laughs> wrong genre. <laughs> That's fire, and there was a fight, okay? I can only do so much. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way over to the carriage. Shame. <laughs> yeah, Shmeg, right. I think I would like to investigate what's in that basket. All right. Without as, touching it, if I can. As, as Scribbles approach the cart, uh, what is your origin, Scribbles? Oh, God. Hold up, let me get my sheet. Um, I have it here. Where am I? Oh no, where is it? Where'd I put it? I sent it to you ages ago. What? It's okay, it's not on my cheat sheet. Hold up, I messaged you a while back. Oh, fuddy duddy, I can't remember. It began with a Y. What? what? Fuddy duddy? What did yeah, you fuddy say? Duddy. Uh, like, it's fuddy like duddy. saying Fuddy shucks. duddy? Why does that sound like a... Uh... Did you just say fuddy duddy? <laughs> Sounds like a kind of cereal yeah. for kids. Yeah, uh, hey, cereal kids. for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Pour yourself you a bowl of nutritious fuddy duddy. You guys have <laughs> never heard of that? No, I have not. Oh, holy shit. That was an overwhelming amount of adorableness. <laughs> oh, sweet lord! It's canon. Gross okay, uh, let me just let me you just go sure. ahead and uh, I can find. It. I'm sorry, I don't mean to embarrass you. Keep oh no, it's okay. I I thought I had it written down because I had it. I I can't right. remember for the life of me because we didn't put it on the main sheet. Uh, your origin is. Fuddy oh, duddy. okay. I know where it's from. Okay, I know what it is. Person who is old fashioned. It is with a Y, isn't it? Uh, let's see here. <coughs> Jesus. Sorry, I am. You're alright. I think I'm. I think I'm sick. <gasps> but it's, it's used soap. like I'm old. Like I forgot. Like I can't think of this. Like damn it. Okay, never mind. It's not relevant. Okay, okay. 
Never mind. All right. As you approach the cart, Scribbles, I need you to make me a Arcana check. Da -da 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 -da. I can do that. Mm -hmm. And I do it really well, baby. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, Natty 20, dude. Let's me go. So many. <laughs> I just know everything. The comparison between Scribbles, Arcana versus freaking schmegmas yeah one yeah. oh, my, my, my last roll was a two so awesome what is uh, schmeg good at again uh nothing were they 20 <laughs> were they 20 were they 26 or doors <laughs> this is what you're able to determine scribbles this cart was obviously showered in fire in fire magic magical fire still embers within the broken pieces of the wood you can see that it is covered in webbing because it seems that someone summoned unnatural spiders to attack it as well, but they have long since faded. The webbing is just left over from that. You also notice that there is an egg in the basket as Schmeg flies over to also take a look at it. Okay. That egg appears yeah, to I... be <laughs> a yokai egg. <laughs> What do you think? Been a while since the group has had a proper meal, don't you think? No. Over no. easy. No. no. Scramble. Oh, I it. Sure, <laughs> shall I go? I'm gonna brush the spider webs away and pick the egg up. All right, Scribbles. As you pick yeah, up the that... egg, you can see that the egg is covered in carvings. Hmm. Ooh. You do not believe that this is an actual egg, like a, you know, egg with something inside of it, like a, like a creature. I'll just hold it. I'll hold it up to the light just to make sure there's nothing would you, inside. Would you like me to read it for you? Uh, sh sure. Eyes of the Rune Keeper. As you take a closer look at the carvings on the egg, what you're able to determine is that the egg seems to be a ritual of some kind, a, a part of it at least, and the writing on the outside of it are instructions. Uh, the instructions say, place egg in center of flame. Provide 10, excuse me, provide 10 sacrifices in an elongated angle represent, representing that of the crescent moon. Well, that seems kind of fortuitous. So it says, place the egg in the center of a fire and arrange a sacrificial crescent moon of uh, sacrifices, numbering 10, pointing That's... at it. What do you think? Well, I mean... Flowers are living things, right? Well, we are surrounded by corpses. I wonder if they Proof. would count. Proofread looks at Smeg and just subtly, like, nods towards <laughs> squirrels. Oh, well, you could kill you. Wait, you could what? be sacrifice number one. No, is that what you meant? No, is that what you meant, no, no, no. no. Well, it was supposed to be subtle, but. Oh, oh. <laughs> I meant you should look at what else is in that basket. Hit her over the head with a hammer. Go ahead. I think I might. No, no, no. 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 Why shouldn't I? <laughs> no. I'll break the egg. Don't break the egg. She's, She's my. No. She's the brains of the group. There's spiders. Okay. Spiders. I okay. do not like spiders. I hate this place. Don't worry. It's not spiders. It's some sort of giant demonic being. It's fine. I'm no, it's definitely spiders. This, I'm slugging my way into this flower bush and I'm just cowering in fear over everything. Well, the question is, do we want to find out what's inside or not? Yes. Yes. All right. Well. I... <laughs> what is a yokai? That sounds familiar. Do we Have we the seen spirit? yokai? A yokai are the spirits of Gleas. Ah, oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. their, that's their Glayan name. Oh. <laughs> Scribbles is gonna 
Okay, this is... I'm probably going... This is a long time. <laughs> Scorpus is going to make our way to this sort of um, cluster of flowers and start digging up uh, some of the ones like on the around the edge to sort of form like a crescent out of the flowers. All right. And place the egg right about here. Hey. Stand back, Rubad. Okay. Uh, what about me? Hello. <laughs> what about all this? Um, oh. This might work, and. I'm going to cast Firebolt as a cantrip. So I'm going to cast Firebolt at the egg. Ooh, smart. Smart. All right, then. And hopefully the blast radius will burn all the flowers around it. You, uh, you summon forth the power of fire and blast a bolt of flame at the strange ritualistic egg. The flames will be kind of contorted against the egg's frame and sucked inside. Inside a blue fire will be fl uh, will be lit and the flowers will instantly all wither. The egg will begin to shift and twist and then finally it will open. Uh, I think I did it. Well, g you know, go greet your child. <sighs> just timidly, just tiptoe over and peer inside the lit. egg. As you approach the uh, now opened egg, the, you realize that it was just a contraption, a container, and inside.